time. No matter where you are, this is the time. This is your time. You are the time out. Israel, this is Yahweh time. Let's enter into Yahweh gate with taste given, with praise, with mercy. Be grateful. So, what's along, my beloved? May our by Yahweh be sweet. So, what's along? Time now, Israel, to call Yahweh by his name if you want Yahweh to hear you. It is a must if, if you are my with people his people who are called by my name will humble themselves mm -hmm. and pray yes, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Praise to Yahweh. Then I will hear. I will hear and forgive my people of their sins. I will hear from heaven and my eyes will be opened. My ears will hear. Yes, hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Then I will heal. For now I have chosen and I have sanctified this house. That my name may be on this house for Yes, us. hallelujah. My eyes and my heart will be there that we treasure. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. As for you, if you walk before me, as your father, walk the Torah walk. As your father David walked. As your father David walked the Torah yes. walk. And if you do according to all I command, all I command, not some. If you keep my, my statutes and my judgments, mm. I will establish the throne of your reign. Mm. And my kingdom will be forever. Forever. Leolam Forever. Forever. Hallelujah. Do not be swear, no matter where you are. Remember, it's a Sabbath day. You are out of time, and you don't have time out. This is your time to you. Remember, if my people, if you are Yahweh people, if you are his chosen people, it's most to call him by his name. And you must humble yourself and seek its face. And you must turn from your wicked ways. If you obey Yahweh, we always keep his covenant. But there's a condition. If you are his people, you must call him by his name. If you are not his people, you have no obligation because you are not his people. But if you are the chosen one, it's a must to respect him, to love him, to honor him. Call Yahweh by his name. Forever. 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 Welcome up by our way, said the God day. It's a reminder to tie the covenant of Yahweh into your hand. No matter 
where you are tonight. Whether what's going on into your life. Feel about everything. This is such a part day. Dedicated belong to Yahweh only. Forever. Forever. You are his people. If you are, if he is father, you must call him by his name. A lot of people say it's just a name. No, it's just not about a name. Because the name is the name above all the name. Do you call your president by his name? Of course, yes. Do you call your husband, your wife, even your dogs by their names? When you call them, what happened? They answer you. That's the same thing if you are Yahweh chosen people. If Yahweh is your father, you are Yahweh's children. That's why I say, if my people. It's not for everybody. It's only for those he has chosen. Not those who are calling, but those he called, he's chosen. It is a must to call your father by his name. If you are his children, he give you a birth certificate. You are legitimate. You are not legitimate children. If you are always your father, why not call him by his name? If you are always your father, why you listen to people say just a name? Can he just avoid them for his for his name? Of course, yes. When you call a person by name, show respect, love. So I say, if my people who are calling by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then there is a condition. There is a requirement, there is a commitment. <laughs> if you don't qualify, my friend, I feel sorry for you. You are wasting of your time. The first thing the doctors ask is your mother of your father. If your father there, sometimes many men is there. But if your father you ask your mother, what is his name or her name? We don't ask second question, that's the first question. Every name has a meaning. Every given name must be called by his name. If my people, you love people to call you by your name. Sometimes people call your number because people call on the wrong name, you say you have the wrong number. So if you do not know Yahweh names, how can you can communicate with him? He couldn't tell you wrong number, just like you told people wrong number. Just think about for a second. Just use common sense. When anybody called you, can I spoke to Sky? Wrong number. Can I spoke to Kefa? Wrong number. Can I talk to Yahanan? Wrong number. You don't even ask the person, can I help you? No, you get the wrong number. That's the same thing. When you don't call Yahweh by his name, Yahweh is not going to even pay attention to you. Why? Because in the time of ignorance, in the time of ignorance, I bear we overlook at it. Only on the time of ignorance. That doesn't mean you wouldn't go free. But when he reveal to you the truth, what's going to be your excuse? What's going to be your excuse? Oh, I think the name is not a matter. I can call you by any pagan name to what I want to. But what shall we command you to do? If you are his people, you must call him by his name. If I'm your father, show me some respect. Honor me as your father. So if you cannot honor me, so you're afraid to call me by my name, that means I'm not your father. But you call Satan by his name, right? Satan is your father, my friends. 
Shabbat shalom to all of you. I am Messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries, to Shabbat Shalom. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. To all my brethren, my fellow citizens, my brothers and sisters, the followers, and the listeners, no matter where you are tonight, on the full corner of the earth, may Abba Yahweh and His mercy, may Abba Yahweh and His grace bless and welcome His Sabbath to you. In the name of Yeshua, Bishem, Yeshua Amashik. The children of Israel, no matter where you are tonight, you out of time out. This is Yahweh Sabbath day. Let's, let's enter into Yahweh gate with thanksgiving. No matter what is the problem, no matter what is the calamity, no matter what is the pain and suffering, no matter what you go through, if you want Yahweh to hear you, only one thing you have to do, don't come in with Yahweh with your tears, with the tears in your eyes. We're not going to just look at that you. Don't come in with Yahweh with your problems. We're not going to listen to you. Don't come in with Yahweh, hey, I'm tired. Hey, he give you six days, the seven days, he told you this is six days. Next time when you go to work, you know you're going to get a paycheck. You always encourage to, to go at time. You never go late. If you go late, there's the emergency. You call your boss and make sure he did not fire you. But you think well, when you keep the Sabbath, you obey Yahweh, you do Yahweh a favor. Uh -uh. Tonight, all the creation of Yahweh worship Yahweh. Yahweh don't need us. He's just doing a favor because of he's not a man. That's why Yahweh see, I am Yahweh, I change not. That is the main reason the children of Israel has not already destroyed or consumed. If Yahweh was a politician, just like Trump, there is no one single person living on the face of the earth. Because Yahweh has made a covenant with Abraham. He wants to honor and respect his word. That's the reason why. But otherwise, we are nothing but good for nothing. That's why we are. We all fall short from the glory of Yahweh because of what? Disobedience. But there is something given to us, to all of us. A free gift is given to us. Even it's free, we reject it. Because it's free. My beloved, my fellow citizen, my world people, no matter where you are, Shabbat, Shalom to all of you. Let's praise Yahweh. You want a blessing? You want a healing? You want a highway to heal you? Impress Abba Yahweh by your faith, not by your problem. Open up the door. Go out there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Open up the door. Put all your problems. Everything's going to your mind. Leave them outside. And come in and worship Yahweh in the spirit. And the truth. Yahweh love those who worship him that way. Come on, let's do it for Yahweh. Don't do it for yourself. Yahweh is listening to you. Go ahead. Between you and your creator. Come on, talk to your creator. The opportunity, the door is open, the line is open now. No matter where you are tonight, you can speak to your creator. Come on, let's go. Talk to your creator. We pray, Abba, you will search the soul. You will search the soul, no matter where you are tonight. Our families and friends to be made home. Only one way to Yeshua HaMashiach. There's only one way. Yeshua is the answer. For all your problems, for all Yeshua calamity. Is the you know all the answer for your problems, for your calamities. Only Yahshua Amashi. Just rejoice in his Sabbath day. Praise him. Thanks him. Be grateful to him. He already knows all your problems. Talk to Yahweh, your creator. Putting all your problems into his hand. Just the 
I sure I know all the problems, you already know what you need. Yeshua is the answer. Yahushua Amasya is the only answer. Yes, hallelujah. Is the only answer. Whatever you are tonight, whatever the situation might be. In your turn, is permitted. You might be feel the whole world is going to fall down upon you. It's not. Satan uses fear in order to destroy you. Don't let Satan destroy you by Sweet fear. Yeshua, Sweet Yeshua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. Oh yes, let Yahshua eyes on you. Oh yes, hallelujah, praise be to Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. Thank you are by Yahweh for your days, for the bread of life, for your people you have been chosen from the darkness. So I lost to be for all those who are in calamity. You know all things. Yeshua is the answer. For all your problems, there's a solution. Yahushua Amasiak is the only way. Whatever happened in your life, Yahshua said, My yoke is easy. And my burden is light. My yoke is easy to carry. My own, my body is light. Give Yahshua all your problems, everything. Let him carry them for you because you can carry them. Sweet Yeshua, see them through. You see everything. Yes. He did all the time. and make you a new bond, a new creature. Give you a new way, a new living, a new identity, a new person. To walk different, to talk different. If you lost, you need Yahshua in your life. Yahshua has the problems. Resolved it. You can resolve all your problems. But you have to call him by his name. No matter where you are, don't be afraid of calling by his name. No matter how many problems you have, there always be a solution. But there's only one person who can find the solution of all your problems. It's only Yeshua. There is no other. Name give above any man can receive any salvation, any forgiveness. And the eternal life is only to Yahshua. Whatever happened to you in your life, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Even men cannot resolve your problem. But remember, you have a friend. You have a savior. You have a physician. Whatever the sickness, this is whatever you get in your life, whatever the addictions, Yahshua. Whatever problems you get, Yeshua is the answer for all your problems. Bring all your burdens to Yeshua. Yeshua say, My yoke is easy and my burden is a light. So you cannot carry everything. If Yeshua can take all those bidding, and he will not die. If Yahshua can carry the stake to Golgotha, there is nothing, there is no problems Yahshua cannot carry. If he can carry the load of the sin of those who believe in him. So your problem is nothing compared to what was on the stake when he was carried. 
You imagine how heavy he was? But he was not asking for help. But today, if you are in need, you find the wave is coming after you. The darkness is fall upon you. And your hair to come ways. Just don't wait. Remember your creator when you're young before it's too late. When the dream is coming, we start by shaking. We start by getting old. We start by getting lose your memory. Your hair is turned gray. Your beard is turned gray. And you will start by getting the same strength. It is a time to realize that what you gain from this world, you've been growing way to ways. What you get, what is your reward of this world? Pain, strophings, agonies, disasters, problems, calamities, disease, sickness, poverty. That's why this world can offer you. My beloved, no matter where you are tonight, remember there's only one person who can resolve all your problems. But it is a must to accept the condition to be qualified. In order to be qualified, to get to listen carefully this world and obey them. That's only one way. There's a lot of ways seem to be good on the side of a man. But just remember, the end of it is death. Why? For the wish of sin is death. So let's express Yahweh. Not the way you are tonight. The time is now. Let's go to it. Let's go before the emergency seat. Come on, no matter where you are tonight. Let our prayer will descend to your voice. Cry upon Yahweh. Call him by his name if you will be your father. If you will be his children, it is a must. The door is open and the light is open. You can come in directly to your creator, to your savior. Ask him whatever you want. Don't pray, ask him. I don't say to pray, I say ask him. Ask him your father, your creator, your maker. Whatever you want. If you're willing to be obedient to him, he will give it to you. Everything you ask him to do his will, he must give it to you. It's a promise. If you ask anything in my name, it should be given to you. Whoever sick will be found. Whoever asks must be received. And whoever knock at the door, the door shall be open. It's up to you what you're asking for. Don't ask him something to please of yourself for the flesh of desire to please your own self. But ask him Abba Yahweh anything to do his will. Talk to him. Don't pray him. He's your father. You don't pray your father. You ask him your father. Humble yourself before him. The door is open and the light is open. It's a time to communicate with your creator. Remember to call him by his name. But the way you are tonight, let the grace of our prayer will fall upon you. Let the mercy of Yahshua for his blood and God go to You found compassion. He granted you repentance for your sin. The time is kicking, my brothers and sisters. Stop by wasting time. There's nothing out there. If you are lost tonight, it is a time now to call upon Yahshua Amasya. The door is still open. The lie is open. It's not busy. If you call Yahweh by his name, the lie will never be busy. If you have no answer, service. Your call will be answered. No matter where you are tonight, come on. 
let's enter into Yahweh gate with thanksgiving, with praise. Let's first be grateful. The door is open, the door for salvation. The door, the mercy is saved. The throne is open. The door of paradise is open. And the telephone of our by Yahweh is wide open waiting for you. Communicate with your creator. Come on. Don't pray him. Talk to him. He's your father. He's your creator. Can you seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh and all his righteousness? And everything will add into you. If you do Yahweh will, there's nothing you ask and will not give it to you. He will do anything for you. Everything. Everything you ask and will be given to you. If you do his will. If you listen to him. Every faith is smaller just that the most are seed. can be like you, Yahweh. Nobody can be just like Yahweh. Only Yahweh means Yahweh. Like you. Among the mighty one, Yahweh. Yes, hallelujah. You are, you are awesome. Walking is what we want, Yahweh. No matter where you are tonight, let's walk before the dawn of Yahshua Amashiach, before the throne of the Lord, and let us cast up by Yahweh for forgiveness of our sin. The door is still open, the light is still open. Call upon Yahweh. He will answer you. Yeshua can resolve all your problems. Whatever is going on into your life. You don't have to hide in for nobody. We all make mistakes. That's what Yeshua is all about. The lie is open. Asking up by Yahweh to forgive you. What are the mistakes you do in your life? If you have a faith is smaller as the mustard seed, you can tell mountain to move and the mountain will open. And nothing would be impossible. Nothing would be impossible. For men, everything are impossible. But for Yahweh, everything are possible. Come on, Israel. It's a bad day. Oh, Abba Yahweh give you six days, six days, seven days, must be dedicated to him. If you want to receive any blessing, any healing, if you want Yahweh to hear you. You must obey his voice and listen and follow his commandments. Where you are tonight, the mercy seat of our prayer. If you are lost, if you are confused, if you feel like the wave is coming after you, it's not to destroy you. The wave is to clean you from your filthiness, from your sin, from the way you are living of your lives. That's why the wave is coming to clean you up, to change your garments. The garment of the wickedness to put a garment of righteousness upon you. The wave not going to destroy you. Don't be afraid. It's just to clean you by the name of Yahshua, by the blood of Yahshua Hamashiach. If you believe in his name, if you believe in him, nothing, nothing will be impossible. Enter. Enter Yahweh gate with thanksgiving with praise, my brothers and sisters. Come on. Stop by wasting of your time. But the mice, just like the prodigal son who say, 
I'm going to get back to my father's house. About you, how long are you going to wait before you coming back to your father's house? And your turn is permitted. Just look around you, what you see. And tell me if you want to stay down there, what you want to you tonight, it's up to you to receive it or to reject it. It's free. There's no charge for it. This is Yahweh. He's waiting for you. His home is open. Just like the prodigal son. He take everything. He wastes everything. But him, he changed his mind at the last minute. He said, in my father's house, I can be eat better food than that. Not to eat a pig food. He was decide to get back to his father. Just like when you are lost, when you found, all the hosts of the paradise will be rejoice. When you die, this is Yahweh. And now you will sweat. Stand by the way. No matter where you are tonight. Seek the ancient paths. Find the ancient paths. So you feel so lonely by believing Yahweh. From my eyes I see. From my eyes I see. About you, my From friend, my way you are tonight. We are by Yahweh every mercy upon all of you. From my eyes I see. My eyes have seen your salvation. Remember Yahshua said, go and sin no more. If nobody do not condemn you. The way you are tonight, truth and faith, belief and trust, they will Can see Yahweh's salvation, Yahshua Hamashiach. Now, Yahweh, so you are Israel, no matter where you are, start by wasting your time. Let your bond servant go and Is it time now to take Shuva? Let Yahweh hear your voice. Call him by his name. According to your word. Your eyes be where Yahshua Hamashiach is actually He said, Now I can die in peace. I see the salvation of Yahweh's promise to me. Which you have prepared in the presence of our people. So, Israel, no matter where you are, this is the time now. It's Yahweh. to Yahweh. Thank you, Abba Yahweh, for everything. No matter where you are, the children of Israel, if you are believing Yahweh, you chosen Yahweh. If you feel like you are lost, whatever problems you get, whatever things go on to your mind, only one thing you have to do. It's a time now to surrender to your Creator. It's a time now to start by fighting between two opinions. You cannot win. You cannot fight with the win. Because you do not know where is the when it is coming from, where it's gone. Stop by fighting. It's time now to embrace salvation. Salvation is come to you. Why keep on rejecting salvation in your life? Stop by listening to the big voice. Now is the time to just listen to the whisper voice. Exist. I am here. 
I can't resolve all your problems. I'm as bad as I'm dead. Don't listen to those. Hey, I can do this for you. They are empty. Don't believe on the empty game. They just make a noise. But believe on the small voices. Say, hey, I'm here. I have a solution for all your problems. For all your calamities. Everything going to your life. Here I am. I'm just waiting on you. You are the one who reject me. I never reject you. You are the one who turned against me. You turn your back against me. I never turn my back on you. I make a promise to you. I will never forsake you. Neither I will never leave you offering. Your mother might be forgiven you. More mother and your father might be forsaken you. But Yahweh say, I will never forsake you. I never leave you. Think about that. It's a promise. But with a condition. For Abba, I will never forsake you. Abba, I do not forsake you. You forsake your own self. Just that like Adam was hiding. Because he knew he was doing something wrong. This that today we are hiding from Abba Yahweh. Adam was acknowledged he was naked. He was he was fur. But at least the acknowledge he was naked, he was hiding. How about you? Are you see you are naked? Are you acknowledged you are naked? Are you acknowledged you disobey your creator? Your sin has been separated you from your creator and your iniquity are but to his face in order not to listen to your prayer for Yahweh doesn't listen to sinners prayer you cannot live in any sin when I want to take your hand and say let's go my beloved I refuse and think I'm going to be babysitter at you no Abaya will laugh in it's only one way only one way when you suffer, when you are in pain. You always to listen. But when I send calamity over you, I will laughing at you. Yahweh is a consuming fire. Yahweh is a warrior. Yahweh is a man of war. He's always at war. Don't play with Yahweh. You can play with everybody, anybody, but please just remember Yahweh, don't drink nothing hot, nothing cold, even has, you have to put it to heat. Everything Yahweh drink is hot because Yahweh is fire. Stop playing with fire, and when you get born, you say, Oh. But you remember how long you went playing with fire? You expect it one day. You have to be born. Tonight is not the night. Tonight is not the same as the other night. You might be remember this night. And this might never become again in your lifetime. Maybe, or by every reason, he called you out of the darkness. You don't call you out of the darkness to do your own will, for your own pleasure, for your own good. He called you out of the darkness to do his will, to please him. But if you think up by your way, when he take you out of the darkness, just for your own pleasure, to do your own will, your destruction is what they are at the corner. Just that Yahweh said to Ken, Ken, if you do what is right, you will be accepted also why your face is so angry why are you so angry why you look like you are a loser do the right thing king and your gift will be accepted but if you are refused to do what is right sin is crossing right there at your door waiting for you it's desire is to destroy you. 
master it. Don't let the sin master you. You better be mastered before it's too late. If you do what is right, you'll be also accepted. But if you refuse to do what is right, sin is laid down at your door waiting for you. Because it desire is to master you. Don't let them master you. Listen to Yahweh and obey Yahweh. That's the only way. Shabbat Shalom to all my Israelites, brothers and sisters. Shabbat Shalom to all of you. May Abba Yahweh please and blessing be to all of you. I am rejoice just to see all of you tonight in the presence of Yahweh. I'm asking Abba Yahweh to have mercy upon all of you. For all those who are willing to follow its footstep. It's a narrow gate, it's not easy. But only one thing you have to do is to try. Nothing good is easy. The good news always take time. But the bad news always travel first. My beloved, my beloved brothers and sisters, the clock is clicking. The judgment day of Yahweh is at hand. It's the time to make a decision. Abba Yahweh is not going to force you. Abba Yahweh wants you to be, make the first step first. Then, whatever there is a million thousand more steps, he will take them over. But he wants you to willing. He will not going to force you. He wants you to willing, not to want, but to willing to do his will, to accept him as your creator, as your father, and to follow his instructions. There is a lot of conditions where people thinking by just changing of the name, they are already there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of homeworks. There's no shortcut for maturity. There's a process for everything. No matter your things, you know that there's only one person who knows everything. Tonight is it night. We have the opportunity. We have the breath of life. You never know next second to another second what can be happening in your life. Do you know how many people who sleep last night who do not wake up? Do you know how many people who go out to go to work looking for a living? They say, honey, I'm coming back. But they don't come back. Do you know how many people who died today by accident? They say accident, but it meant to be. Accident doesn't exist. A bell says, I pointed a time, a time to burn, and a time to die. Accident doesn't happen. Whatever happened in our life is happened for a reason. It's happened to me for seven years. It wasn't an accident. I was not in the car accident. But it's happened. So because of the there's a lot of things sometimes you feel in your life. You think it's Satan. It's not Satan. It's you. But you keep eye for them, it's called. You ignore it's called. Now you have no more choice now to break your legs. That's only one way to bring you back to him. It's when all your friends turn you back on you. When all your families turn you back on you and you lay down flat in your back between you and Yahweh. It's happened to me. If I can take a place if every one of you, I will, but I'm sorry I can't. I can only lead the horses to the world. 
but I cannot force you or cease to join the world. I can show you the door by the power, by the grace, by the mercy, by the compassion of Yahweh, but you get to go through it. I can show it to you. Yahweh will give me that power, that authority to show you the door. But remember, you get to walk through it. Yahweh say, even you walk on the fire, you're not going to burn, but you get to walk through it. Even you walk on the water, you're not going to make journey, but you get to walk through it. It's a process. Nothing free. Yahweh say, you want it? Show me you want it. And I will give it to you. Let's remember, seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and all his righteousness and everything and add it to you. The world is falling apart. Everything is upside down. And all those leaders thinking it's okay. Give you false hope. It's not okay. I see horrible. Yahweh revealed to me so many horrible things. I'm afraid to talk about that. That's going to be like the bloodshed. People are going to walk on the dead body. Dog going to eat people. Because there's going to be nobody to bury them. When they say everything is okay, it's not. Babylon the Great is falling. America is falling. So all of you, Yahweh chosen people, it's a time now to start by calling Yahweh by his name before it's too late. The clock is ticking. The time is now. Don't say if. Remember, Mr. Ashwa said, just like it was on the time of Noah, it's going to be the same way. If you know, when the Master is coming, you're going to be ready. That's why we must always pray. Watch. Be careful. Always pray. Watch. And be careful. For you do not know when the time is coming for you. As we know, Abba Yahweh, thank you for everything. Thank you for your Sabbath day. Thank you for your mercy, for your compassion, for your love upon your people. I cannot thank you more, Abba Yahweh, for your mercy, for your love toward your people and toward me also. I thank you for the privilege. I thank you for your love, for your compassion to grant with me that opportunity. No matter how many billions I get, I will never be able to buy the position you put me in. I thank you for I am not what I used to be. I am not what I want to be, but I am what you want me to be. I thank you. Before I go straight, now I learn. You teach me to live according to your words, according to your precepts, according to your commandments, and according to your will. Start by pleasing men and to please you. And to accept you in the spirit and truth. It's your people. Here I am as your servant. Come before you, Yahweh. All those people who are willing to listen to your word are by Yahweh. Those who are deaf, I'm asking you to open up their ears and let them listen. Let them hear your words. For all those who are by Yahweh, no matter what's going on in their lives, I know you are healer, you are physicians. You are the only way. 
You are the truth. You are the life. You are the vine. You are the resurrection. You are the life. You are everything. That's what I am that I am is all about. You can be whatever. They went morning. Whatever the situation you might be following yourself tonight, just remember, Yahshua is waiting for you. You are not the one waiting for Yahshua. Yahshua is waiting for you because you are the first step to make in your life. You don't make it yet. What are you waiting for? Is it time to get up? Is it time to do it? I buy away if it is by your will. Peace to your joy will be done on earth as it is right now in paradise. You create all your questions for your own pleasure. To do your will, to praise you, to thank you, to be grateful to you. All your questions you created do exactly what you was created them for, except one, except men. I buy away tonight, all the angels worship you. All the trees, all the birds, the waters, the sky, the stars, the moons. Every creation you create, praise you tonight. They acknowledge you as the creator of the universe. They acknowledge you give them six days. The seven days must be dedicated to you. But the angel honor you, worship you 24-7. You give men six days. You command them to give you one. They always have excuse to give it to you. But you see many are called, but only if you are chosen. You know all those you are chosen for the wedding. There is some, even they are on the wedding, but they have the garment. They don't have the garment. So you have to put them out. You see many are called, but only if you are chosen. For those of you who are chosen, remember, it's not an easy word. The word to eternal life is very narrow. It's very hard. There's a lot of workship, a lot of hard works to do. It's not an easy part. But if you end up until the end, if you overcome this wicked world, by our way as also we give you the power and authority to sit in eastern and to eat and the tree of life is the yeshua amasiak abayawe please here i am in your presence here i am to do your will to do what is please you in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. The earth is morning. Yes, the earth is morning. But nobody see that. Abayawe, please dry the tear in my eyes for the bloods, for the dead you reveal to me. Try my all the tears on your streets. And to keep on continuing to proclaim the good news to your people, perhaps you have mercy upon them. As is the custom, we're going to call the 12 tribes of Israel according to the custom, no matter what they are tonight, to return to Abba Yahweh. And to repent. Because the time is now. Baruka Tayawe Eloheno Melek Ala Oram Ashe. Kishanu be visit Vati, visit Vanu. Kedmoa Al Shufa. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Abba King of the Universe, who has sanctified the children of Israel by your commitments. And call the children of Israel to hear the sound of the shofar. If you all know what is coming into this earth, 
It's set up for you to be party. Keep all those pagans out of this. You're all going to be into your knees and asking Abaya for forgiveness. Stop by slavery those pagans out of this. Now is the time to be fasting and pray because the earth is under judgment. Stop by listen to Satan. Give you all kind of pagans holidays. Be in your knees. Be in your knees. It's it up to celebrate. Okay, pagans begs Abba Yahweh to grant you repentance. Because Abba Yahweh do not have a mercy. Abba Yahweh do not grant it everybody repentance. Adam do not receive repentance or a second chance. If doesn't receive a second chance. Because Abba Yahweh do not grant them repentance. Blessed are you when Abba Yahweh granted you repentance. We will go to the twelve tribe of Israel according to the camp, according to the directions. To repent from their wicked ways and return to Abba Yahweh. Awakened if you are sleeping. The door gonna close. Now the door is still open. The way for salvation still open. It's a time now. To looking for the way. There's only one way. See how she <laughs> We call to the east and we call to the trap of Yahuda, to the trap of Azekah, to the trap of Zebulun, the trap of Yahuda. Just listen and listen carefully. Abba is sick and tired with all of you. By stop, by fighting between two opinions. Is it time now to acknowledge? Yahweh is the only way. There is no other way. No matter where you are tonight, on the east, the trap of Yahuda, the trap of Azaka, and the trap of Zebulun, it's not a choice. It's a command to you to repent from your wicked ways. To call Yahweh by his name. Sunday is not the Sabbath day. I buy Yahweh make a covenant with you 3,500 years ago in Monsa night. He chose you for only one reason. He make a covenant with the house of Israel for only one reason. So Abba will say, if you are sleeping, it's a time to wake up. There is no more time to play game. It's better you return to Abba when you take Shuvah, or you're going to pay the price and consequences. If you are ready, you don't have to take Shuvah. If you are ready to pay the consequences, you don't need to repent. You can keep on going your ways. And let's see at the end who's going to be the winner. Because Abba Yahweh know what no loser in his team. You want only the winners. If you cannot be a winner, Yahweh don't need you in his team. If you are a loser, you belong to Satan. Abba Yahweh is a warrior. He's a consuming fire. He's a zeal creator. So if you are a loser, I will not want you. It's a time now to start by fighting, to return to the Torah, return to Yahshua Amashiach. The 2,000 years ago, he come in on his own, and his own do not receive him. How long you will keep on fighting between two opinions, Israel? Abaya will say, come out of her, my people. If Question mark. You don't want to be part of her and her sin and to share and upbeat and comfort.
Now we turn to the north and we call to the trap of Dan, to the trap of Asher, and to the trap of Naphtali. The trap of Dan, the trap of Asher, the trap of Naphtali, who are on the north directions. I bear we commend you and warning you to repent from your wicked ways. No matter where you are tonight, in your turn, I permit it in Abayawe Vineyard. You might be end up in R95, R75, or 41, whatever you are tonight. You might be in New York City in the highway, and no matter where you are, in 42nd Street, Abayawe told you, the time is now. The clock is kicking. About would say, if you are sleeping, to wake up, awake, shake the dust of your feet, change the garment of the filthiness you have on, and put the garment of Yahweh, the gracious garment on you. Return to your Torah. Return to Yahshua Hamashiach, the same one you rejected 2,000 years ago. I give you the opportunity if you receive him. If you obey his commitment, if you love him, you might be every place in his kingdom. Otherwise, you couldn't get a place with Satan on the lake of fire. It's a time now to come out from among the healings. It's a time to come out from the pagans people. It's a time now to stop by celebrate all those pagans holidays. I barely say three times in a year. Three times in a year. All flesh, not some, all flesh, must come to worship him three times a year. Passover, unleavened bread, and first fruit. And that's it. Passover, unleavened bread, and first fruit. Not including the Sabbath. There is 52 or 54 or 57 Sabbath a year. But otherwise, all those pagans' holidays is a man-made. The a tradition. I bear we asking you, Martin Luther King birthday is a tradition. President Day is a tradition. Happy birthday is a tradition. Mother Day, Father Day, are you all found them on the scripture? No. Thanksgiving Day, Valentine's Day, Mother Days, Father Days, they always give you something in order to distract you, to take your mind from, to take from your creator. That's why they say God loves you. Because the more you go against your creator, is the more Satan loves you. Stop by giving Satan too much work to do. And come out from among them before it's too late. And come for it. The trap of them, the trap of Asher, the trap of Naphtali, it's not a choice. It's a commandment. It's a warning. And you must obey or get ready to pay the price. If you're ready, I don't think you're ready. And we turn to the west and we try to the trap of levers to the trap of benjamin to the trap of yourself the trap of levi no matter where you are just remember the covenant between you and yahweh a covenant of life about we say on the last day it will purify you it will refine you on the fire and to make you the way he was created to be. To not defile yourself with those pagans and heathens, holidays. The job of Benjamin, Sunday is not the Sabbath day. I bear with the covenant with you six days. You must do your only body. Seven days is the day of Yahweh, your creator. On the Sabbath day, not you, not your sons. Not your daughters, 
not your male servant and your female servant not your animals not even a stranger who's within your gate not supposed to be any work why for in six days yahweh yeah, created the paradise the earth the sea and everything and then and he rested on the seven days yahweh was not tired because he rested on the seven days about rested because you want to follow his pattern you want to follow his footstep when messiah saw i was living on the first of the earth he never is still home on sabbath day sleeping 24 7. the scripture say he went to the temple every sabbath every sabbath not some every sabbath and his disciple follow his footstep also but today there's so many so many skills how do we know are we are in the lane are you every lane are you gonna get one the children of israel only two will see the promised land even moses don't see the promised land so it is a time now to come out from among the hidden do not touch anything unclean then i'll buy our see i will be your father and you will be my children but there's a process there's a condition to follow in order to be qualified otherwise Sakabo 86 get ready for the judgment Within the south, and we call it the trap of Reuben, to the trap of Shimeon, to the trap of God. No matter where you are on the south directions, listen and understand also. It's not the final call, but it's almost the final warning for the third trap of the children of Israel, no matter where you are. Yahweh say, I am not a man. That's the reason why I don't change my mind. 6,000 years, humanity took over the earth. What are they doing? They destroyed. 3,500 years ago, Abba Yahweh has made a covenant with the children of Israel and Mount Sinai. How many of you today? to observe the sabbath day but all those pagans holidays you're always acknowledging except the sabbath day when the sabbath day is the only sign between you and yahweh throughout your generations as an everlasting covenant it's not a contract it's a covenant there is a differences between a contract and a covenant a contract side by pen with two men but a covenant is sealed with blood that is the difference a contract can be void at any time at any moment for the both party but a covenant cannot be void a covenant cannot be ignored remember 3500 years after 40 days Abel will test in you. You fail. But Abel will always keep on keep his promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. That's the reason why Abel will say, I am Yahweh, I change not. That is the reason why the children of Israel has not already consumed or destroyed. Yahweh is sick and tired with all of you. Is it time now to take shuffle? Is it time now to repent from your wicked ways? It's a time now to wake up in the filthiness. The life you are living, Abba Yahweh asking you, it's a time now to change your ways. It's not of changing of your name, thinking you make it. 
It's okay. It's not. You get to live in the way I will create you. By his commandments, by his statute, by his judgment. And by follow all his instructions. This is the only way. And I will say, my way is not your way. Even my thought is not your thought. And I will say, I have a plan for you. The plan I have for you is not to destroy you. But a plan to prosper you in the future. But what is your plan? To destroy yourself. Just look around you. What do you see? There's nothing out there. There's nothing. If there's everything down there, you're not going to get it. Satan will not going to give it to you. There is no good gift from beneath. All the good gift from above. So whatever you see here, they are nothing. Vanity upon vanity. Vexations of Yahweh's spirit, that's why you see. The time to wake up and come for it. My beloved, is it time now for us to go to Yahweh? Is it time now for us to go to the living Yahweh, not the dead Yahweh? You will ration me be the Atta, the Atta Yahweh, the Zurikwapaha, Adre, Bishem Yashua Hamashiak, Hallelujah. May the expression of my mouth and the thought of my mind, I favor of you, Yahweh, my work and my redeemer, and the name of Yahshua Hamashiak, Hallelujah. Usatem me mayim bisashi ameshuya. And with joy, we shall draw water to the fountain of Yahshua Hamashiak. Matovu o Arya Jacob Israel. How lovely are your tent, O Yahakov. Your dead in places, Israel. Yahweh, to your abundant kindness, I will enter your house and I will bow down to your city part sanctuary. Yahweh, I love the house where you dwell and the place where your steam resides. I must portray myself and bow and bend the knee before you, Yahweh, my maker. But as for me, May my prayer is to you, Yahweh, according to your will. O Abba Yahweh, in your abundant righteousness, answer me with the truth of your salvation in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Come, come, my beloved, to welcome the bride of the present of Shabbat. We receive, observe, and remember, and one ultimate dance. We heard from Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. Yahweh is one, and Yahweh name is one. For remember, for his splendor, and for praise. Come, come, my beloved. Leka the day. Come, my beloved. Shake up the dust of your feet, O Israel. Dress in garment of steam of my people. To the son of Isaac the Bethlehemite, with damson journey to my soul. Come, 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 my beloved. Wake up, O house of Israel. Wake up, stupid, rebellious, stiff, naked people. For your life is come. Awaken, awaken. Sing a song. For the steam of Yahweh is revealed to you. Come, come, my beloved. Don't let it be too late. Baruka ta Yahweh Eloheinu mirek ara oram ashe. Isano bemis vare vananata ranu et Yahshua meshiyano vivis vanure o oram. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Bless are you, Yahweh, our Abba, 
king of the universe, who has sanctified the children of Israel in your word, and given the children of Israel, Yahshua Amashiach, and command the children of Israel to be the light into the earth. Hallelujah. Instead of for them to be the light, they are the darkness to the world. Because they are stiff and naked and rebellious people. Refuse to listen. Refuse to accept the discipline. Barukata Yahweh Eloheno Melek Ala Oram Ase. Sanu Bemis Vota, Vivazi Vanu Rakernel Shabbat. Beshem Yahshua Amasiak. Hallel. Hello Yahweh. Bless I you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe. Who sanctified the children of Israel with his commandments and has commanded the children of Israel to be the light of this Shabbat and the name of Yahshua HaMashiach to be the light of this Shabbat and the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. How many of you today follow the Jewish fables and set up to be the light? How many of you today who are the head instead of the head? How many of you today who are blessed? Why are you not blessed? Why are you are cursed? Because of disobedience. Yahweh say, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. May I by Yahweh make you just like Ephraim. May Abel make you just like Abraham. May Abel make you just like Yitzhak and bless you as Yitzhak. May Abel will make you and bless you just like Israel. May Abel will bless you and make you just like Sarah. May Abel will bless you and make you just like Rivka. May Abel will bless you and make you just like Russia. May Abaya will bless you and make you just like Leah. Baruch et Yahweh Ami Vloham. Bless the blessing one. Baruch et Yahweh Ami Vloham Le Uram Vayed. Bless is Yahweh the blessing one for all eternity. 3500 years ago, Yom Ashabat Le Kadusha Abesha Amen. Thirty-five hundred years ago, Abbe will make a covenant with the children of Israel. Saying, remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day to obey its set apart. What set apart mean? Why obey mean? Is it whatever you please? What set apart? You can mix so one juice with apple juice, with strawberry juice, with the pine juice, with everything. And I will give you six days. He said, you must do all your labor and do all your work. But the seven days is the Sabbath of Yahweh, your creator. On the Sabbath day, you should do any work. Print black. For in six days, Yahweh made the power that the earth, the sea, and everything is in them. And Abayawe rested on the seventh, not on the first day of the week. Not to pick and choose any day you feel like. But Abayawe will give instructions. He give you comment. He told you to observe the Sabbath, the seventh day. Not to pick and choose, not seven days. So you must follow Yahweh or you receive a curse. You might be your first qualified to be a children and you might be disqualified because you get to accept it all the conditions the restrictions the instructions the commitments the judgment the statutes and the degrees is the package did you cannot receive one and reject the other one it's not free market you not pick and choose i'll give you a package deal and you must obey them and yahweh Bless the seven days, not the first day of the week, not Friday, 
that will bless the servant. He finished everything in six days. And Yahweh said to Moshe, He speak also to the children of Israel. Are you are the children of Israel? Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. And you are one of the children of Israel. You are the chosen one or you are the calling one. Because there are some people who think they are Israel. My beloved, it's not all the descendants of Israel who are Israel. Start by deceiving yourself. This is why you should know them. I know my sheep and my sheep know my voice. If anybody you have to fight with him to call Yahweh by his name, to call Yahshua by his name, that means not one of Yahshua. Could me say, Yahshua, see, I know my sheep and my sheep know my voice. When I call them, when I call them, that means when you are sleeping, when you hear about Yahshua, you must be wake up. If you not wake up, that means you are not one of the chosen one. You must be listening to the voice. And if you are sleeping, you must be wake up. And Yahweh said 2,500 years ago, he said to Moshe, he speak you also into the children of Israel, saying, truly, my Sabbath, my Sabbath, not your Sabbath, Yahweh's Sabbath must be respected and honored. Or you pay the price and consequence. Why? Because it's the only side between Yahweh and you. How can you call yourself a chosen one? You change of your name because you see your name is a pagan name, is a slave name. But you sin in slavery because of your disobedience. What the difference make? You think because you have a Hebrew name, that's mean you are an Israelite? No. Israelite is not by appearance. It's not according to the way you look, but according to your faith. You see, I saw, I don't say, if you change your name, you become a citizen of Israel. He chose the citizen of Israel. He know where he get them. He know where he put them for their disobedience. So stop by deceiving yourself and others. By claiming yourself to be something you are not. What's Abba Yahweh saying? For it is a sign, the Sabbath day is the only sign to acknowledge is the creator. If you are a student and you do not acknowledge his independence of his creations, are you a legitimate student or you are illegitimate? Think about it for one second. I bet you see, if I am your father, you would honor me. You see, honor your mother and your father. If Yahweh is your father, where is his honor? Where is his respect? Are you doing it? And you think you can just change enough your name and that's it? Where is the verse who said it? Are you have any verse who said you get changed your name and you become an Israelite, right? Are you just deceiving yourself? You're just lying to yourself. You misled the others, you lie to others. Because the Sabbath is the only sign. If anyone claims themselves to be an Israelite, yet we said the Sabbath day, you are not an Israelite. Because the Sabbath day is the only sign between Yahweh and you throughout your generations. The children of Israel must observe the Sabbath, obey the Sabbath throughout their generations as, as a comparison and everlasting everlasting covenant what everlasting mean and the time of moshe is okay but now you can keep and choose what whatever you want to do that's a free market where you think you are on the football field i don't think so the sabbath day is the only sign between yahweh and the children of israel forever for in six days, you get Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, sundown, Sabbath, until Saturday, sundown. Yahweh want 24 hours. Yahweh no want no less. 
If you think and you're going to do whatever you please, and now is Sabbath day, you're wasting of your time. I bet I will give you six days. And it don't, it don't, it don't beg on you. It command you as your creator, as your maker. It command you to dedicate that day to him. He don't beg on you. And don't take him by observe the Sabbath day. And you're going to do Yahweh favor. Yahweh do you favor, but not destroy you. And now he's on the way to destroy every single of you. You will take Yahweh paradise, right? Watch and you see. You will hear what's going to be happening everywhere, especially those in the United States of America. You better be prepared for the blood share. For it is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days, six days, are you not know how to count? Do your pastors, your elders, your ministers, your spiritual leaders know to count? If they do not to count, let them get back to school, get their money back. Give back the diploma you get because they teach you nothing. You don't even know how to count. Sunday is the first day of the week. No matter every country, no matter the calendar you see, Sunday is the first day of the week and Saturday is the seven days. So what's going to be your excuse on the judgment that's coming for you? Your wife, your husband, because you love them much than Yahweh? Yahweh say if you don't hate them, you cannot be his disciple. If you're going to please men, hey, you cannot be a servant of Yahweh. Yahweh say, when we take the book of Yeshayahu, 66 chapter verse 20 twisted that. From one month to another month, not from one sub, not from new moon to another new moon, because there is one new moon every month. From one month to another month, from one Sabbath to another Sabbath, all flesh, all flesh, not some flesh, all flesh must come to worship me, said Yahweh. All flesh. That's the reason why 2,000 years ago, Messiah so I stated that before the Pharisees, the teachers of the laws, the Sadducees and the scribes and the Sadducees, the Sabbath was made for men, not men for the Sabbath. Start by taking and giving skills. The time is now. Don't waste off your time. Because Abaya, we're going to take no excuse from nobody. That's why he gives us enough time in order to know the differences between the first day of the week and the Sabbath day. Abaya, we, the symbolic is seven. The sign Yahweh gives is seven. But the number one, the first day, is not from Yahweh. So you have to make a choice. And the choice you have to make, don't let it be too late. The door is open. The lie is open. But remember, just start in the time of Noah, the door will be shut up. My friends, it's a time now. 3,500 years ago, Moses says, Shema Israel. Shema Israel. Yahweh Eloheno, Yahweh El Had. Marushim Kevot Makut, the Oram. Of I o Israel, Yahweh is our Abba. Yahweh is one. Blessed is the name of Yahweh's same kingdom for all eternity. The Oram, the Oram Vayen. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe, who has given us the way of salvation and Yahshua Amashiach. Yeshua, the only way for salvation. And you shall love Yahweh with all your might, with all your soul, with all your strength, and every this word which I command you today be upon your mind. And you shall teach them diligently to your children, and speak of them when you sit down, when you walk by the way, when you retire. When you arise and you soul by them for a sign upon your eyes and your point or in and between the frontless of the gate of your house. 
and you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates. And you shall love your neighbor as the self. It's not eye for eyes and tooth for tooth. Love. That neighbor. The fruit of Yahweh's spirit is love, not hate. Love. Patience, kindness, long suffering, endurance. That is the fruit of Yahweh's spirit. Mika Moka by him Yahweh. Mika Makodes. No say that, no say Philly. Who is like thee, Yahweh, among the mighty ones? Who is like thee, steam wonders, on some employees and walking wonders? Who is that the Yahweh among the mighty one? King David is saying in the Psalm on the book of Tehillim 107, verse 1 stated, O do le Yahweh, O do le Yahweh kituf, ki le ora kadosh, O do, O do, O do, O do le Yahweh kituf. Give thanks to Yahweh. Yahweh is good. If I can stand before you today to be Yahweh servant, for Yahweh to choose me, Yahweh's mercy is good. And Yahweh mercy forever, forever endures. Yahweh sifatiha, ikavigatiha ate aha. Bishem Yahshua Amashiach. Alel. Lo Yahweh. O Yahweh. Open up my lips. That my mouth may declare your praise. In the name of Yahshua. In the name of Yahshua Amashiach. Alel. Lo Yahweh. Blessed are you Yahweh our Abba. The Abba of our forefathers. The father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, and the Abba of Yaakov, who later become Israel. The great almighty and handsome creator. The father who creates grace and give all. And remember the kindness of the fathers and bring a redeemer to their children's children for Yahweh name's sake. With love. Yahweh. O King, Helper, Savior, and Children of Abraham. If Yah by Yahweh can be Magen Abraham, Barukata Yahweh, Magen Abraham, Abayahweh can be your shield, can bless you, and Abayahweh can be your friend. Abayahweh can be your father, he can be your maker, he can be everything for you if you love him, if you obey him just like. Our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov, who later become Israel. Yahweh, you are almighty forever. You raise the dead. You are almighty to save. You subtain the living with grace. You raise the dead with abundant mercy. Of all the falling up by Yahweh, Heal the sick. Set free those who are in bondage, Abba Yahweh. And keep the faith with those that sleep on the dirt. Who is like you, Yahweh, master of all mighty deeds? Who can compare to you, Yahweh? Kings, who cause death and restore lives and make salvation spoiled. And you are faithful, Yahweh, to resurrect the dead. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who resurrects the dead. Yahweh, our Abba, the Abba of our fathers, may you be pleased with our ways. Sanctify the children of Israel in your commitment and grant the children of Israel a portion in your Torah. Satisfy the children of Israel from your goodness and make the children of Israel rejoice in your salvation. 
purify the children of Israel mind to serve you and truth and love and favor. Yahweh, our Abba, God, the children of Israel, your set apart Shabbat as an heritage, and may Israel who sanctify your name, Yahweh, with the end. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who sanctify the Shabbat in the name of Yahshua Amasiak. Hallelujah. Lu Yahweh. Abba Yahweh, please be favorable towards your set apart people, Israel. Turn their prayer and restore the service to you and your set apart the temple. He speedily accept the foreign offerings of Israel and their prayer with love and fervor. And may the service of your people Israel may be always be favorable to you, Yahweh, my work and my redeemer in the name of Yahshua. My brothers and sisters, no matter where you are tonight, no matter what is going on into your life, put everything aside. Be content. Be content for whatever the circumstances might be. Let's hear we hear your voice tonight. We grateful thanks you, Abba Yahweh, for it is you who are Yahweh. Our Abba, the Abba of our forefathers for all eternities. Our work, the work of our lives, shield of our salvation. Are you are from generation to generation, Abba Yahweh? We shall thank you, Abba Yahweh, and we let your praise for our lives, which are committed to your power, and for our souls, Abba Yahweh, that are unjust to you, for your miracles that are with us in every day, and for your wonders and favors in every season, evening, morning, and afternoon. The benevolent one, Yahweh, for your compassions will never be exhausted. And the compassionate one, Yahweh, for your kindness will never be ended. For we have always put our hope on you, Yahweh. For all these things, may your name, Yahweh, be blessed, exalted, exalted. Our King, the Melech of Israel, continually forever and ever. Everything in life. Everything in life. We gratefully acknowledge you, Yahweh our creator, and praise and bless your great name. Sincerely forever, for it is good, O Yahweh, our salvation and efforts, given for one Yahweh. Abba Yahweh, Shem Shalom, I'm asking you, by your power, by your praise, by your mercy, Blessed are you, Yahweh, your name is the benevolent one, and to you is fitting to give thanks. I'm asking you to establish shalom, goodness, blessing, graciousness, kindness, and compassion upon us and upon all your people, Israel. Blessed is our by Yahweh, all of us, Israel. With the lie of your continents, you give us Yahushua. The Torah of life, the Torah of kindness, the Torah of righteousness, a blessing, compassion, life, and shalom. May be good are by Yahweh in your eyes to bless us and to bless all your people, Israel, in every season, in every hour, with your abundant peace, with your abundant strength, and shalom. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who bless his people, Israel, with shalom. Let us magnify and sanctify by the great name of Yahweh and the earth which Abba Yahweh has created according to Yahweh's will. May Yahweh establish his kingdom during your life and during your days and during the whole hours of the house of Israel even swiftly and soon, and say, Hallelujah. Let the great name of Yahweh be blessed forever and for all eternity. 
bless, praise, glorify, esteem, exalt it, extol it, and honor and magnify, and Lord, it be the name of Yahweh, the set apart one. Bless is to Yahweh above all the name, above all. Blessing and songs and praise and consolation. We are all to it on the earth and say, Hallelujah. May our by Yahweh make a peace in its place. Make shalom upon the children of Israel and upon us. We listen to him right now. Now is the time for the Kedusha. Kedusha Hashem Yahweh. Every head must be covered. No matter who you are, no matter what you are, if you want to receive the Kedusha Hashem Yahweh, if you want to receive the sanctification of the name of Yahweh, it's a must to wear a tali. If you don't have a tali, you have a towel, everything you have to own, you must throw away. It. It's a must. It's not a choice. The choice you get, you're not going to receive no blessing. So you have to retaliate, put a towel, get everything, put it in your head. Men or women, no matter who you are, no matter which country you are, is a must to receive the Kedusha Hashem Yahweh, the sanctification of the name of Yahweh. Your head must be covered. Be respected under your Creator. Talita Koma, when Yahshua said the little girl who was dying, almost 2,000 years ago, he put it his tally upon the, the little girl. He said, Talita Koma, mean little girl who was. He said, Yahshua said, enter into your closet. The ancient house never have a closet. This is your closet right there. It's a tally. Every one of you, must have a tally. Is you need the tally and you're gonna need it. Your closet is the tally when you enter into your closet. You cannot communicate with Yahweh without respect him, without love him, without honor him. By cover your head is a symbolic, is a symbol of respect, love and honor. As a king as the creator, as the maker of the universe, and as my father. You must show respect for the king. Another king. Praise the king name. Kedusha, Hashem, Yahweh. Your head must be covered, if not. You're not going to receive nothing from your Holy Spirit. Ata kadosh v'shim ka kadosh. You kedoshim bekeriyom yu haruk ha-yahweh. Ki er merekar v'kadash ata. Baruk ha-yahweh ha-er ha-kadosh. Hallelujah. Ata kadosh v'shim ka kadosh. You kedoshim. The Kelion you are Ruka Yahweh. Ki er merekador. We kadas at Barukata Yahweh. Er Akados. Yahweh, you are set apart. And your name Yahweh is set apart. And set apart one praise you every day, forever. For you are Yahweh, the great and set apart. The lake of Israel. Blessed are you, Yahweh, the set apart. Abba. Yahweh, you are set apart. And your name, Yahweh, is set apart. And set apart one, the one you choose. The ones you choose to praise you forever. For you are Yahweh, the great and set apart creator. Forever. And ever be shem Yeshua Amasiak. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom to all of you. Blessing and peace be to all of you. My beloved brothers and sisters, 
Thanks are by Yahweh for everything. As we know before this service, everybody must put the seat belt for the for your own security, for your own protections. You must put your seat belt. The flag is gonna be take off. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, my brother. For your protections, for your safety, please buck it up. For your captains, as you know, it's Yahushua Hamashiach. Yahushua Hamashiach. Yahweh salvation, the anointed one. Hamashiach, the anointed one. Yahushua, Yahweh salvation. Hamashiach, the anointed one. Your fly number is seven 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 put your seatbelt and every seat take off the destination is unknown the Abba Yahweh Shalom be with you enjoy your ride I see you later if it is by the way of Abba Yahweh Shalom Tonight is a night. Tonight is another day. It's not just like the other days. It's different with the others. Tonight is a night to remember. Tonight is an other night. Most of you might be sick. Shabbat Shalom, my beloved brother. Shabbat Shalom to all of you. May Abba Yahweh peace. May Abba Yahweh Shalom be with all of you. I love all of you and welcome all of you. My brethren, my fellow citizens, my sisters, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth. Shabbat Shalom. May Abba Yahweh peace be with you if you are willing to listen to his word. Abba Yahweh, whoever can hear to hear, please let them hear your word. Send your spirit upon his or second opt-in. When you of the mind, give me a new hard drive up by our way in order for your word to be sank in the mind, in the name of your son, Yahshua, Amashiach. Shalom. Tonight is about knowledge versus wisdom. There is a big debate. Billions of billions of people are confused between knowledge and wisdom. There is a lot of philosophers, a lot of people thinking Yahweh gives knowledge. Yahweh doesn't give knowledge. We're going to find out tonight what knowledge can do to you and what wisdom can do for you. Listen to what I said to you. You can find out what knowledge can do to you and what wisdom can do for you. Do to you and good do for you. It's two different words. Shalom. Knowledge versus wisdom. According to the book of Proverbs, to chapter verse 6. Is there any differences between knowledge and wisdom? Can both come from Yahweh your creator? Can you buy wisdom from any university or seek wisdom from theology? Why is the wisdom is so hard to find? But knowledge is found everywhere throughout the earth, including even on the garbage can, garbage trash, you can find knowledge. And the dumpsters. If wisdom can only be found from our Creator Yahweh, the Almighty, I can't anyone obtain wisdom. With Yahweh is greater. 
or a very mighty knowledge man. Or a wise man filled of wisdom from Yahweh, our Creator. We encourage everyone to turn in. Ask knowledge versus wisdom. The church will be exposed by Yahweh, your Creator. Interpretation to the book of Proverbs 2, chapter 6. And are anyone can receive wisdom? To Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. My friends, the book of Proverbs 2, chapter 6, please. Let's start. Are we with it? Are we with, are we with it? Let's start by keep on seeing the differences. What knowledge can do to you and what wisdom can do for you. Let's see the difference. Let's take the book of Proverbs, 2 chapter verse 6, please. Any one of you? Let's start working. So much shalom to all of you. May Abba Yahweh put spirit in your hand to tap in very fast tonight. I'm asking Yahweh to grant it to you. That blessing, that privilege, that opportunity. The book of Proverbs. To chapter verse 6. Let's start from the book of Proverbs. To chapter verse 6. The book of Proverbs. To chapter verse 6. Thank you, my beloved Sina. Shabbat shalom to you. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. Shabbat shalom to you. Thank you, my beloved Oleg. Shabbat shalom to all of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let me see what. My beloved Shina should say. For Yahweh give wisdom. Hmm. From east from Yahweh mouth came from wisdom. Came from wisdom and understanding. Hallelujah. Let me see my beloved Christopher. For Yahweh grant the wisdom. From Yahweh mouth came from wisdom and understanding. Not is from Yahweh mouth. My beloved Oleg, so much shalom to you, my beloved. For Yahweh give wisdom. From Yahweh mouth it comes from wisdom, brother Oleg. From Yahweh mouth is commitment is the wisdom. My people are destroyed because of lack of wisdom, not knowledge. Correction, please, my beloved Oleg. For Yahweh give wisdom. From Yahweh mouth come understanding and understanding. From wisdom and understanding. Let me see my beloved naked. For Yahweh give wisdom. Out of Yahweh mouth. Hallelujah. Came from wisdom and understanding. Thank you my beloved naked. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. Shabbat Shalom to you my beloved. For our by Yahweh give wisdom. Out of Yahweh mouth came from wisdom and understanding. Not is Yahweh. So if Yahweh is the one who great wisdom, if from Yahweh mouth came from wisdom and understanding, who gives knowledge? Where is knowledge coming from? Let me see the correction of my beloved Alex. For Yahweh give wisdom, from his mouth come from wisdom and understanding. Yes, but from Yahweh with from Yahweh mouth, Yahweh mouth, Yahweh give wisdom. Yahweh don't give knowledge. So if Yahweh grant us wisdom, Yahweh grant wisdom. From Yahweh mouth came from wisdom and understanding. So that means you can go to school to buy this. It must be given to you. But how one can receive wisdom and understanding? And why the other one can receive? knowledge so if Yahweh grant wisdom is something you can go to school go to the university go to the college and you can have wisdom most people think that when they go to school they gain wisdom no you don't 
When you go to school, you learn about from a man perspective, not from Yahweh. That's why most people think they are somebody, they are something when they are knowledgeable, they are intelligent, they are smart, but they have no wisdom because they, they don't wise. They don't act wise. They act foolish. Why they act foolish? So about Sean Baptist, the corrections. For our by our gifts wisdom, out of Yahweh mouths come wisdom and understanding. Hallelujah. Thank you, my beloved. So only one way you can receive wisdom is not going to university or school. The university of Yahweh is his spirit. It's his word. The college degrees or university degrees, the PhD of Yahweh, is the Hua Hakones, is the wisdom. If Yahweh, my, my people are destroyed because of lack of understanding, lack of wisdom, lack of understanding, they get too much knowledge. When you get too much knowledge from men, from school, from going to school, university, college, etc., you become stupid and dummy fools. Where is knowledge coming from? Let's go to the book of Genesis. Two chapter. Verse 15 and 17. Let's see. Now, the book of Genesis, two chapter, verse 16, please. The book of Genesis, 2 chapter verse 16. The book of Genesis, 2 chapter verse 16. For us to establish exactly what taken place. When you go to school, can you buy wisdom? If you go to any university, now everybody try to go to this university for reputation, to have a name. Do that can grant you wisdom, or that can make you more dumb than you are. Most people say, oh, I'm going to use university. I'm going to send my children go to school to be somebody. That means Yahweh create you good for nothing. So the school going to make you somebody. No, the school going to make you dumb, stupid, because Yahweh create you with wisdom. Yahweh grant wisdom and understanding. School cannot go that. When you go to school, School cannot give you wisdom, discernment, understandings, insight. School cannot give it to you. Satan has no power to give you wisdom. The book of Genesis 2, chapter verse 16, please. And Abba will command the men. Thank you, my beloved Oled. And Abba will command the men. You are free to eat from any tree on the garden. Any tree. Let me see my beloved sinner. And Yahweh command it, not given a choice. Command the men. Command and choice is too different. If Abba we has give the men a choice, I mean a choice, he will never take the actions he take from me. Because he commanded not to do this. But let's see what's going to be happening. Let me see what my beloved Christopher has to say. And Yahweh, your Abba, command the men, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden. Hallelujah. You may eat everything freely, without no charge. What a privilege. You have a seat and you say, You can do anything. You don't have to pay no rent, no electricity, no utility, no nothing. You can eat everything without no cost, without no charge. What a privilege. That stupid man going to. Lose it, and he's gonna let us on the debt until today we pay the consequences of Adam. Let me see my beloved Nikki. And Yahweh declare it to command the man, not give men a choice. Command the man. Command and choice are two different things. They say you have a choice, but the scriptures say Yahweh command it. Command. Yahweh is a warrior. He don't give you choice. He commands you as a commandant chief. As a creator of the universe. He gives you command, not give you choice. 
If anybody say you have a choice, only one choice you have. To put yourself in problems. To make Yahweh set his face against you. To make Yahweh send all kinds of diseases and sickness in your body. To make your life miserable. To make your life upside down. You can never enjoy nothing in it. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. And I by Yahweh command it. Command the man saying of every tree of the garden you may freely, freely hello without no cost, without no charge. Freely eat. Freely without no cost. Now let's take verse 17. Let's take verse 17. Verse 17, please. Verse 17. Let's take the book of Bereshit, I mean the beginning, two chapter, verse 17, please. Let's establish the evidence to bring the case. Thank you, my beloved Oleg. But you must not eat from the tree of what? The tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, no, 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 no. I don't go do that yet. You certainly die. I buy a way, give the man a comment. A comment, it says you may eat everything freely on the garden, with exception of one. Why it choose to disobey the only one commandment? Out of all the trees on the garden, why it choose just to eat from the one Yahweh commanded not to eat. Is an accident? Is it coincidence? Do Yahweh know it's gonna be happening? Why you think Yahweh warning him not to do it? Because he knows he was gonna do it. That's why he makes sure. He said the day you must eat on everything freely on the garden. But you must eat from the tree of knowledge, good and evil. For you should not eat. Otherwise, on the day you eat from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil, you will certainly die. Point blank. The wage of sin is death. But the gift of Yahweh is what? Is eternal life. And who? To Yahshua Hamashiach. Let me see my, my beloved Christopher. I used to say. Except but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you should not eat. For in every second that you eat from it, you will certainly die. My beloved naked, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you should not eat of it. For in the day that you eat thereof, you will surely die. Mm. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. But of, of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you should not eat of it. For in the day that you eat thereof, you will surely die. My beloved young, Shabbat Shalom to you, my beloved. Yahweh also give his comment. Remove the name God, my beloved young. Take your time. God is not a name. God is a other attribute for Satan. Yahweh also give this command to the men from every tree of the garden who may eat to sacrifice but as for the tree of knowledge, the good and the evil, the day you eat from it, you will certainly die. Now, let's go to the book of Genesis, twist chapter, verse 3. The book of Genesis, twist chapter, verse 3. The book of Genesis, twist chapter, verse 3. The book of Genesis, bear with it, twist chapter, verse 3, please. 
Bless you, my brother, also. The book of Bereshit, twist chapter, verse 12. The book of Bereshit, the book of Genesis, I mean the beginning, Bereshit, and the beginning. Twist chapter, verse 12, please. The book of Genesis, twist chapter, verse 12. The book of Genesis, twist chapter, verse 2, please. The book of Genesis, twist chapter, verse 2. The book of Bereshit, twist chapter, verse 3. Thank you, my beloved sinner. Except the food from the tree which is the means of the paradise, Yahweh say you must not eat, or neither touch it. But Yahweh did say, you must not eat from on the tree that is in the midst of the garden, and you must not even touch it. Thank you, my beloved Olet. Thank you, my beloved Sin. My beloved Christopher. It's only the tree from the meadows of the gardens that we are not allowing to eat. Wow, we are fast tonight. That's good. Congratulations. My beloved naked. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which in the midst of the garden, Yahweh I say, you should not eat of it even if we toss of it we will die my beloved young. but yahweh i say about the not the fruit yahweh don't talk about the fruit talk about the tree make it correct son boy young there's no such fruit that's why they told you apple there is no apple in the garden there's only two trees on the garden the tree of life and the tree of knowledge. There is no there is no apple. Take it off the fruits. And you must not eat from it, not you must die. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Sharon Baptist. But of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, I by our way I say, you should not eat of it. Neither should you toss. Hello. She added, she know what she's doing. She added to it. I bet we don't see touch, I bet we see it. But she even know what she's talking, she put touch, she add to it. So that's mean she know what she's talking about. She know what she says, I always say, if you even if you don't touch, you're gonna die. Now, let's take verse four, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are funny, Christopher. Now let's go about Genesis three chapter verse four, please. Yes, I was asking Abaya we to all of you to have a fast finger tonight. Yes, <laughs> Abaya we going to take this. Thank you to Abaya we. Yes. Genesis 3, chapter verse 4. Thank you, my beloved sinner. But the serpent said to the woman, you will not certainly, will not die. You certainly will not die. The serpent, when Yahweh say to the man, command the man, not give a choice. Thank you, my beloved naked. And the serpent said to the woman, you should not surely die. When Yahweh say, not to eat from the tree of knowledge. But the serpent say, you're not going to die. When Yahweh say, the day you eat from it, you're going to die. Now, 
Nobody else. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. But the serpent, Satan, said to the woman, you will not surely die. Yeah, we don't get something he don't told you. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. And the serpent said to the woman, you should not surely die. He showed to himself, I will lie to you. Let me see my beloved Olim. You will not certainly die, see the serpent, said to the woman. I don't ask for the four yet. As you get it, the five yet. As the serpent said to woman, you certainly will not die. That's the next verse, the verse, four, the verse five. For Yahweh know, and the very day you eat from it, your eyes will be open. Verse five. Because my beloved Olix already quoted the verse five. My beloved Yon already quoted the verse five. Thank you. Now verse five. For Yahweh knows, and the day you eat from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil, not even your eyes will be open, but you will be also as a God. You will be also as a God, knowing the good and evil. Listen to the words carefully. For Yahweh knows, Genesis 3, chapter verse 5, please. Because the computer is short. When you put two verses, it combines. You cannot see two verses. For Yahweh knows that, thank you, my beloved sinner. For Yahweh knows that on the day you eat from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil, your eyes will be wide open. And you will be as a God, knowing the good and evil. For Yahweh knows. For Yahweh knows. That's why he told you not to eat from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil. Because he knows the day you eat from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil, Yahweh knows your eyes will be open. That's why he told you not to eat of it. Not even you will be, your eyes will be open, you will be as gods, knowing good and evil. Let's see my beloved Christopher. For our by Yahweh knows. When somebody say somebody knows, your mother knows, you know what to do, she lied to you. That your eyes will be open as soon as you eat from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil. And you will be like gods, knowing both good and evil. Let me see my beloved Nike. For Yahweh knows, Yahweh knows that in the day you eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, then your eyes will be wide open and you will be as a God knowing good and evil. That's why she want to hear. That's only one thing. A lot of people, that's why they want to hear. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. For Abba knows that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes will be open and you will be as gods, as gods, not as Yahweh, as gods. Listen carefully, take a note. As a God, knowing good and evil. As a God. For Yahweh knows in the day you eat from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil, your eyes will be open. Even your eyes will be open, but you shall become as a god. So Satan want to make Eve as a god. Not like his creator, but to follow him. Are you there? So knowing the good and evil. So that means Satan is the one who gives the key of knowledge. Satan is the one who gives Eve the knowledge in order how to do things when Yahweh command them not to do it. Now, let's take 
the book of Genesis. Thank you, my beloved Joe. Shabbat Shalom, my beloved. How are you doing? For Abaya we knows that when you eat from the tree of knowledge in good and evil, your eyes will be open. Not even your eyes will be open, and you will be as a god, as a god, knowing good and evil. So Satan don't care who you worship. Satan don't doesn't care who you praise. Which name you bless, but he no want you to bless Yahweh names. He gonna do anything in his power. Very careful. He gonna do everything in his power to stop you from praising and thanks and worship your creator. Now, let's take the book of Genesis, three chapter, verse seven. Let us skip six. Let's skip verse 7. Let's skip 6. Genesis 2, chapter verse 7. Let's, let's skip the 6. Let's take verse 7 now. Let's take verse 7. To establish a proper case to represent the evidence correctly. Everybody can be on the stand on the same pages. Because our Bayahwe is not the author of confusions. But of the of Shalom and all the congregations of the house of Israel. The book of Genesis, which chapter verse 7, please. Let's skip this 6. Let's take 7. Just to establish, make it more shorter. Just to establish the evidence of the case. Make the case more stronger than it's supposed to be. Let's see how we give you wisdom, understanding. Insight, a spirit of discernment. Thank you, my beloved Olex. May Abel bless you. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized they were naked, so they showed the live tree and things. Thank you, my beloved Shina. Then the eyes of Adam and Eve were open, and they knew they was naked, and they showed fig leaves together and put them. In that moment, the eyes open, so Satan do not lie to them. That was not lies. Satan do not lie to her. Satan told her, your eyes will be open, the both eyes open. That's not lies. So they realized they was naked. And the eyes of both of the man and the woman were open to my beloved naked. So Satan doesn't lie to them. If Satan don't lie to them, who lie to themselves? That they were naked, the show fig tree. Then the eyes of both of men, of them, were open. Take you, my beloved Jerome. And they realized that they were naked. So Satan said, your eyes will be open. But only one thing they missing, because he's going to be God's. She want to become a god. Oh, she said, uh-huh, I want that power. That's why I was looking for. That's why most people want to be sent. Are you going to go to Hollywood? What are you going to do there? I want to become famous. I'm going to come to get superstars. I want to get the world. And the eyes of the boat of open, and they knew that they were naked. By acknowledge rejected Yahweh's commitment and listened to Satan, they would see what? Knowledge. The tree Abba was command them not to eat, so they eat of it. So it's not Yahweh who give them that knowledge, it's Satan. Now, let's go verse 8, please. Let's go verse 8. Let's go verse 8. <laughs> then they asked of both of them, they took my bill of the end. And the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized that they were naked. They never knew they was naked before. But suddenly, because they always say, and the day, as soon as you eat from it, you shall die. So it was not die physically, but spiritually, you was gone. I understand, my beloved. Yeah, show it, yeah. Now, let's see verse 8, please. 
Let's see what verse 8 has to offer to us. Let's see what the verse 8 has to offer to us. Let's see what verse 8 has to spend to us. Verse 8. Bereshit, the beginning. Chapter 3. Verse 8. And what happened after the eyes of both of them opened? Satan do not lie. He said, your eyes will be open. Your eyes is open. Thank you, my beloved Shina. And they heard the sound of our body were walking on the garden on the cool of the day as usual. So the man and the woman hid and then said, why? They hid it. They heard. The man and the woman heard the sound of our Yahweh walking on the garden of Eden on the cool of the day, as it always did. So the man and the woman hid themselves. That you might be loved on it. And they heard the voice of our Yahweh walking on the garden on the cool of the day. On the cool of the day. When people talk about heaven, Yahweh was on the garden, right? <laughs> he was not in heaven. And the cool of the day, and Adam and Israel, black colleagues, correct, correct this, if was not Adam's wife, if he was his wife, what's taking place will never take place. Let me see what the corrections my beloved Shina has to say. And they heard the sound of our Bayawi walking on the gardens in the cool of the day. So the man and the woman was hidden because there was naked. My beloved Christopher, when the cool evening's breeze, hallelujah, were blowing, the man Adam and Eve, her Abaya were walking about in the garden, so they heard that they hide him. My beloved naked. And they heard the voice of Abaya were walking on the garden, in the cool of the day, as usual. And Adam and the Romans hid themselves. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. And they heard the voice of Abba Yahweh walking on the cool of the day on the Garden of Eden, as always, as usual. And Adam and Eve hiding themselves. Hmm. Let me see my beloved Joel. Then the man and the woman heard the loud voice of Yahweh, the Creator, as Yahweh was walking on the gardens of Eden on the cool of the day. They heard that, and what happened? They realized they was naked. What happened? They hiding for Yahweh. This time today we are hiding because of disobedience. Now, let's take verse nine. See what takes place. Let's take verse nine. See what take place. Verse 9. Let's see verse 9 now to see what's happening. Verse 9. Remember, the man and the woman heard the sound of Yahweh walking on the garden of Eden on the cool of the day. So Yahweh was not in heaven and the man was in, in the garden. So Yahweh was always walking on the cool of the day as usual in the garden. So not in heaven. Yahweh don't put them in, in heaven. But he put it on the garden. Right? Good. So now, let's go to verse 9. To see what's taking place. So the man and the woman heard the loud voice of Yahweh, the almighty creator, as Yahweh walking on the garden of Eden, on the cool of the day, they hide him themselves. And Yahweh called, thank you my beloved Nikki, and Yahweh called to Adam and say to him, Adam, Adam, where are you? My beloved Shina, I will call to Adam and say to Adam, 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 where are you? He called Adam twice. 
not just Adam, where are you? It's Adam, Adam, he called him twice. There's a meaning for what? For that. Let me see my beloved Joe. But Abaya we call to the man, where are you? Abaya will say, Adam, Adam, where are you? It's not because you do not know where he is. Because the stupid word man was missing and absent. Let me see my beloved Olex. But Yahweh called to the man, Adam, Adama, Adama, where are you? That's a piece of love. When people call you twice, Yahweh call Abraham, Abraham. Noah, Noah, always call, Moshe, Moshe, always call twice. Yeah, we always call twice. Not only one time, twice. He makes sure you heard him. Yeah, we say Adam, Adam. Next time when you call Moshe, Moshe. Abraham, Abraham, here I am. My beloved Christopher, Abaya we call to the man, Adam, and say to him, where are you? My beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. And our buyer we call Adam, Adam. Yes, is a way of love. And say to him, where are you? It's not because our buyer we doesn't know where the stupid man was. But the yeah, Adam I was created to be my partner. To be my companionship. When I want to walk in on the cool of the days, suddenly Adam is M-I-A, missing in actions. Correction. But Abayawe called to the men, Adam, Adam, where are you? Abayawe know where the stupid man is, but because he was not the way he should be. The Adam, when I come in on the garden, always walk with me, suddenly, now it's nowhere to be found. That's why I always see Adam, Adam, where are you? Because the way I should be, I put to you should be there. You're not way to be found. You are missing in actions. Blessing everyone. Blessing to you, to my beloved. Now, let's see verse 10. Let's see what the men say. Adam, Adam, where are you? The Adam, I give dominion over everything. Where are you, Adam? What's going on? Why you been done to yourself, Adam? Now let's go verse 10. Let's go verse 10 now. Let's see what's taking place. Verse 10. Verse 10. Genesis, Bereshit, twist up to verse 10. Thank you, my beloved Eden. And Adam answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I'm happy. I hear it. You hear it. Yes, sir. Read it. Let me see. My beloved sinner. Adam say, I heard a sound of you, Abba Yahweh, and the God, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Really? Just that day, you was naked. My beloved Christopher, my beloved naked, my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Who's next? Let me see who's next. My beloved Joro. Let me see who's next. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. Adam replied, I hear your walkings on the garden, Yahweh. So I hid, I was afraid because I was naked. I'm hiding from you. Really? About how many people today who are naked? But they don't afraid of Yahweh to hide him. Let me see my beloved naked. And Adam say, I heard your voice, Yahweh, and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hide myself. How many people go to the churches today dressing naked, walking naked, did not even realize they're naked because they have no fear for Yahweh. But Adam, even he fell. But at least you have some respect for Yahweh. You always still get a fear. But things has to be happen. It's happened the way Yahweh want it. There's no accident. And Adam said, I heard the sound of you are by Yahweh on the Garden of Eden. And I was afraid because I'm naked. I don't want you to see me naked. I don't want you to see me naked. I'm afraid. <laughs> 
But today you see people walking on the street naked. They don't care. You don't recognize the mother and the daughters. They dress the same way. Because they have no fear for Yahweh. Let me see my beloved naked. And Adam say, I heard your voice, Yahweh. And I was afraid. Because I was what? I was naked. So I hid myself. How many of you today? Who acknowledge you are naked? You could have gone to the problems. You don't care. You can see people walking today. You see all their pants. You see all their butt out. They don't care. Because they don't respect themselves and they don't respect the creator either. Let me see what Zach and George has to say. And Adam say, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because cause I was naked and I hid it myself. Today, how many of you today who realize you are naked? None. Everybody blind. They don't even see they are naked. My beloved Jorua, Adam answered to Yahweh, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I'm hidden. I said, I'm, I'm afraid. I don't want you to see me. I'm naked. I have to hide in myself. How many of you today will realize you are naked? None of you. Let me see my beloved Christopher. Now, it is the opposite of everywhere you look, people are naked. <laughs> Funny, Christopher. Hallelujah. My beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. And Yahweh say, I, Adam, not Yahweh, my beloved Shalom. Not, not Yahweh, Adam. My beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist is not Yahweh's sin. It's Adam. Adam said, I heard your voice in the garden. I was afraid. How many of you today who are afraid? Fear means afraid. I was afraid because I was naked. I was afraid. I don't want to see my nakedness. Because I respect you. I love you. I fell down. I fall. But hey, I was still have a respect for you. I cannot, I don't want you to see me. I'm naked. I'm ashamed of myself. How many of you today who are ashamed of yourself because you are walking naked? And I hate myself. Now, let's see verse 10. What verse has to say? And let's go and start the business. Verse 10 now. Verse 10. Where is it? To chapter verse 10. Let's see what it's in now. Let's see what verse 10 has to say. There is it. Which up to verse 10. Let's see what it said. Let's see what it said. What it said. Joel Rowe. Genesis. And Yahweh said, Who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I'm commanded you not to eat from it? Who told you you are naked? Who told you? All the time you've been working with me on the cool of the day, I create all the animals, you name it them, I have no problems. I create the woman, I bring you the woman, you call the woman, you name it the woman, I have no problem with you. Now you tell me you are naked? Who told you that you are naked? Who told you you are naked? The scripture don't say if you was 10,000 years, 3,000 years. The scripture don't say for how long they've been walking on the cool of the days. Adam never knowing or acknowledged he was naked because he was not sin against Yahweh. Now let's say my beloved Olix. And Yahweh say, who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil, that I'm commanded you not to eat from it? I bet we know that's only one way for his eyes to be open, for him to realize he was naked. My beloved Shin, Yahweh said to Adam, Who told you that you are naked? Who told you you are naked? For all those times, we are walking on the cool of the days. I give you dominion over every tense. Now suddenly you told me you are naked. Who told you you are naked? 
are you eating from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil, which I'm commanded to not give you a choice. For those of you who are thinking you have a choice, you have no choice. It's a command. That's why the price is hard. That's why the price is very hurtful. That's why the price, the consequence is horrible. Let me see my beloved Jack and Judges. And Yahweh is saying, who told you that you are naked? Who told you? Who told you? Are you are eating of the tree of knowledge, the good and evil, I'm commanding you, you not to eat from it. I bet we say that's only one no for him to know. Remember, the tree of knowledge is the tree Satan say is open. So that means knowledge do not come from Yahweh. Because Yahweh, the tree of knowledge was forbidden for the man to eat him from. Now, my beloved naked, and Yahweh is saying, who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which I'm commanded you, I'm commanded with my lips, not give you a choice, commanded. I'm commanded you not to eat from it. Let me see now, my beloved Christopher. I barely say, who told you that you are naked? Adam, have you ate of the tree which as Yahweh command you not to eat from it? My beloved Jogo, and Yahweh said, who told you that, Adam, you are naked? Who told you? Have you eaten from the tree of knowledge of good and evil that I commanded you, command me? You are take your every choice. The choice you get is to be in trouble with Yahweh. Yahweh hate people disobey him. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. And I by Yahweh say to Adam, who told you that you are naked? Who told you we are naked? Do I told you we are naked? Who told you? Are you eating from the tree? Because Abel's knows the only way for his eyes to be open to realize he's naked is to eat from the tree. He commanded him not to eat. Now, let's see verse 11, and we're going to shift to the next thing. Let's see what he said to Abba Yahweh. Let us see what he said to Abba Yahweh. Let's see what he said to Abba Yahweh. Let, let's see what Adam said to Abba Yahweh. Genesis 2, chapter verse 11. Let's see what Yahweh said, what Adam said to Abba Yahweh, to his creator. Genesis 2, chapter verse 11. Let's see what the man said. Let me see. My beloved Shina. And Adam said, the woman, the woman, the woman, the woman, Listen carefully. The woman, whom you give to be with me, the woman, not my wife, the woman, the woman, whom you give it to me, with me, to be with me. She gave me food from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and I eat it. Hello. That's your business. That's your problem. You give me that woman to be here with me. She don't want to give it to me. So I eat it. That's your business. Because I don't ask you for the woman. You give it to me to be with me. I don't ask her. She give it to me. So what do you expect me to do? I eat from it. Let me see my beloved Christopher. Then Adam replied, It was the woman you give me, Yahweh, who give me some of the food and I ate it. I don't care. You give me that woman. That's your business. Let me see my beloved Christopher. My beloved Nikki, I mean. And the man said, the woman, you don't say my wife. He said the woman. The woman whom you give to be with me she gave me of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and I did eat it. 
That's your business. It's not my business because I don't ask you for her. The woman, the woman, there's a secret. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you the secret. What do you mean? Let me see my beloved Zero Row as to say. Adam said, the woman you put here with me, that means Yahweh will never put them together. He just put the woman, but he was talked to Adam already. So as in Genesis 2 chapter, the day you eat from the tree of knowledge, you will be dying. That's it. So he just bring the woman, he don't say nothing to Adam. My beloved Joe, Adam said, to, say, the woman you put here with me, she give me food from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and I ate it. Now, let's see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. And the man say, the woman, the woman whom you give to be with me, she give me the tree and I eat. She give me from the tree of knowledge the good and evil and I eat it. So that means it was not Yahweh give them the power and authority to eat from the tree of knowledge. What you see on Genesis 3 chapter verse 11, the, the serpent, Satan used the woman to go to the man. Very careful. That's why he said, the woman, you give it to me. He talking his language to Yahweh. The woman, you give it to me. To be with me. She gave it to me and I ate it. Very careful. The woman, you give it to me. She gave it to me and I ate it. So we're going to go to death now. The woman, Satan used the woman in order to execute what he want to. Very careful. The Satan don't go to Adam directly. He go to the woman. Are you there? He used the woman. He used the woman. That's what Adam said. The woman, you give it to me to be with me. She's the one who gave it to me and I ate it. Now, we're going to leave that for another time now. Remember, verse 11. Now, let's go to the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel, 12 chapter verse 4. Let's go to the book of Daniel, 12 chapter verse 4. Now, let's take the book of Daniel, the book of Daniel, 12 chapter verse 4. Remember, the woman, the woman, the woman, very careful, the woman you give it to me, the woman whom you give it to me, she gave it to me, she's the one who give me from the tree of knowledge, it's not me who said it, she gave it to me. But I give you the comment. How come we did send to her? We're not going to go to that today. Another day. Now, that's the book of Daniel. 12 chapter verse 4. To see what knowledge coming from and where wisdom coming from. What knowledge can do to you and what wisdom can do for you. My beloved. Shabbat Shalom. The woman who you give it to me, she give it to me and not it. My beloved Christopher. But you, Daniel. Thank you, my beloved Christopher. Thank you. But you, Daniel. Keep this prophecy a secret. Seal of the book until the time of the end when many will wash here and there for knowledge will be increased. Remember, who give knowledge? Knowledge will be increased. My beloved Olitz, but you, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall want and for, and knowledge will be increased. Listen carefully. 
knowledge will be increased. Let me see my beloved sinner. But as for you, O Daniel, conceal these words and seal up the scroll until the end of time. Until the end of time. Many will go back and forth and knowledge will be increased. Take a note. Many set up and conceal this word. Because it's not the time now, Daniel, to reveal to you. Because what I want to know is not for you. But go back to sleep, Daniel. You will wake up another day. Now, my beloved Nikki, but you, O oh Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Not even you're going to shut up the book, but you're going to seal it. Even to the time of the end. So that book is supposed to be closed and sealed. Now, it will be open now. Many so was her there and here. And knowledge, remember, knowledge will be increased. Remember, Abaya will command the men not to eat from the tree of knowledge, the good and the evil. The day he eat from it, he will certainly die. Satan said, no, that's not true. Let me see now, my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. But you, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run and fall, and knowledge will be increased. Mm. That's a deep one. Let me see my beloved Juru. But you, Daniel, will of the seal the words of the school until the time of the end. Many will go here and there to end knowledge will be increased. Now, let me see what Jack and George is to say. And Yahweh is saying, go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed, Daniel, closed up and sealed. Sealed the time of the end. For many shall go and and form. And knowledge, knowledge would be increased. Remember, tonight is about knowledge versus wisdom. What knowledge can do to you, what wisdom can do for you. Hello. Never ask what you can do for Yahweh, but asking what Yahweh can do for you. But the same thing, you asking for wisdom, what wisdom can do for you, and what knowledge can do to you, for you and to you, for you and to do. My friends, this scripture say knowledge, Yahweh now, say, seal up the book Daniel until the end. Do you think I'm here, my name is Daniel, is an accident or coincidence? Why are I say you, O Daniel, shut up the book until the end? Why you think today about is saying a Daniel is an accident? Is a coincidence? To unseal the book is an accident, right? It's a coincidence. When Abel is saying, but you, Daniel, roll up the seal, the words of the secrets until the time of the end. What knowledge can do for you? Yes. And what wisdom can do for you? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So knowledge destroy you. Knowledge is death. Wisdom is life. Knowledge destroy you. That's the reason why you found knowledge nowhere else according to Genesis 3 chapter, you see knowledge. After that, you find knowledge in the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. 
Why? Because there's a reason. And Yahweh command Daniel to shut up the book until the time. What knowledge can do to you? And what wisdom can do for you? Yes. Hallelujah. Definitely. Yes. What knowledge can do to you? And what wisdom can do for you? Knowledge versus wisdom. When Yahweh said people are going to travel, now today, there is a billion people who travel every day via technology. Knowledge is increased. At the time of Yahshua Amashiach walking on the face of the earth, he came from Galilee to go to Yahweh Shalayim on the donkey. There is no call. At the time of when Abel tell Joseph to take Yahushua to flee to Egypt because Edward was about to kill Yahshua because he don't want another king, Jalousy. Joseph has to walk from Galilee to Egypt for over two months. And the donkey, now with 30 minutes or less from Galilee to Egypt because of the fear of knowledge is increased. Automobile, train, airplanes, chopper, and all kinds of boats, yachts, bicycle, motorcycle, every kind of ways. Knowledge is increased. When you go to the airport, people travel, it's like crazy. Because of technology, knowledge is increased. That's Satan. Hello, you hear that? That's why I said knowledge will be increased. People are going to go for, run for, and back. That means people are going to travel. Because knowledge increased. Via, chopper, airplanes, cars, bus, trains, all kinds of things. Knowledge will be increased. Second thing. In ancient time, there is no school. Who brings school? Yahweh created school. When Yahweh created the first man, where he put the first man? I ask a question, please. My beloved Olex, my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist, my beloved Jacqueline Jerseys, my beloved Christopher, my beloved Sina, my beloved Joe, my beloved Nikki, my beloved Jan. When I barely created the first man, on the face of the earth, where he put it, where he put the man. I ask a question, please. When Abaya we create the first man, where he put the first man? What kind of college, what kind of university he put the man? Can anybody said me, please? I ask a question, every one of you. When Abaya we create the first man, on the face of the earth, where he put that man? What he told the men to do. What university? My beloved Sina, on the Garden of Eden, the school of Abaya, hallelujah. Thank you, my beloved Joe, on the Garden of Eden. Thank you. My beloved Jacqueline Georges, on the Garden to cultivate the earth, hallelujah. What university? There's no university. My beloved Nikki, on the Garden of Eden, to cultivate and to wash up earth not university there is no university there's no college knowledge is increased thank you my beloved always on the garden of eden that we put them in he told the men to cultivate the earth and to wash over the earth my beloved christopher thank you about we place the men on the garden of eden to cultivate it and to taking care of it. Thank you, my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. I bear we put them in on the Garden of Eden to cultivate it and to taking care of it. So there's no university. There's no college. Today, knowledge is increased. We say we have to send our children to school to be somebody. Because we think Abaya will create everybody as a good for nothing. So men can make you somebody. When men gonna destroy you. That's the reason why you're gonna see what knowledge can do to you and what wisdom can do for you. Yahweh knows will create school. And you're gonna see what Yahweh 
tell Joshua. My friends, now let's go to the book of Joshua. First chapter, verse 7. The book of Joshua. First chapter, verse 7. To see exactly what I've already told you. They lie to you. They deceive you. They don't tell you nothing but lies. Because Satan is a liar. Satan is a father of lies. When he's talking lies, he's talking his native language. And you're going to see. Let's see the book of Joshua. What Yahweh say in order for you to be prosperous, in order for you to succeed in your life, what should you be doing? What can you be accomplished? What are the conditions? What is the instructions in order for you to be succeed? Do we say you have to go to university? Do we go to you have to college? No. Let's see what Yahweh said to Joshua. Let's take the book of Joshua, first chapter verse 7. To see how we've been lied to. How we've been deceived. How we've been misled by Satan and his colleagues. Let's see. Everywhere you go is the same deception. Nothing. Every country. Because Satan deceived the whole earth. Joshua, Yahoshua, Yahoshua. First chapter verse 7, please. Yahushua, thank you, my beloved Christopher. Be strong. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moshe give you. Do not deviate from them. Do not turn aside. Do not turn to the left or to the right. My beloved sinner. Only be strong. Only be strong. Because it's not easy. Be strong. Kazakh. Kazakh. And he will be strong. And very courageous. For Yahweh to tell somebody, be a strong. Very courageous. That means he knows there's a lot of trouble ahead. And be careful. Be careful to do everything. Everything. Not something. But everything. According to with the entire law, the Torah, the commandment which Moshe, my servant, is giving you to command it. My beloved Olet, be strong, Kazakh, Kazakh. I always say somebody, Kazakh, Kazakh, be strong, be strong, and very courageous. If Yahweh says somebody, be strong, that means his nose. It's very hard ship. He knows there's going to be a lot of waves. He knows there's going to be a lot of troubles. That's why I say, be strong, Kazakh, Kazakh, Kazakh. And very courageous. Be careful to obey. Be careful to obey all the commandments my servant Moses give you to not turn from the right and not turn to the left. Let's see my beloved Nikki. Only be strong. Kazakh, Kazakh. And very courageous. That you may be observe all the commandments with Moshe, my servant, command you to do. Hello. Let me see my beloved Joel. Be strong. Kazakh, Kazakh. Be strong. Be strong. He knows there is a hardship out there. There is a lot of persecutions. There is a lot of waves. There is prison time. There is hatred. There is hunger. There is thirst. There is nakedness. There is everything. All people are going to hate you because of the truth. That's why I say be strong. And very courageous. Be careful. Obey all the commandments my servant Moses give you to do. Not turn from it to the right or to the left. Now, my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist, may our Bayah will bless you. Only be strong. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the commitments, not the law, the commitments. 
the commandment which Moshe, my servant, commands you. We must put the whole armor of Yahshua and to overcome this wicked world. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, let's take verse 8 now. What verse 8 has to say. Yahshua, Yahoshua, Yahoshua. First chapter, verse 8. Yahoshua, Yahweh's salvation. His name was Oshea. And Yahweh changed Oshea to Yahoshua, mean Yahweh's salvation. Because Yahweh no want to, him to take his glory. His name was Oshea. The son of Nun. But Yahweh changed his name. Yahoshua means Yahweh. Oshea means salvation. Yahoshua means Yahweh salvation. That's the difference. Yahweh not say, uh uh. I cannot let you go in the land with my people without changing your name. So it's saying Oshea meaning salvation to Yahoshua mean Yahweh salvation. That means I'm the one who gives my people salvation. Sending our children to school put question mark on Yahweh's ability to lead and provide to his creations. Hallelujah. Now, let me see what my beloved Shina has to say in Joshua 1st chapter verse 8. My commandments, my commandments shall not depart from your mouth. But you shall read and meditate on them day and night, so that you may prosper and succeed in whatever you do in your life. You don't say to go to university, do you? Do you see how he says Joshua to go to university? Do we say command the children of Israel to go to any college? Hello? Are you seeing that now? Let me see my Bible of Christopher has to say. He studied this book of instructions, commandments, continually meditated, and then day and night. So you will be sure to obey everything that is in them. That's the only way for you to succeed. And for you to prosper in your life. Now, let's take verse 9. Let's see what verse 9 has to say. Verse 9. That's the only way to be sexy. Is to obey. Is to study the book of the commandments. Not to go to university. Not to go to college. Thank you, my beloved Joel. Keep this book of the commandments. Always on your lips. Keep the book of the commandments on your lips. Always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you carefully to do what everything what my servant Moshe commands to you. That's the only way to succeed and to prosper in your life, whatever you do in life. My beloved Nick, this book of the commandments should not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate on them day and night. Day and night, not sometime. All the books of the commandments, all the commandments, not some of them, should be in your lips, in your mouth. Not to go to college or university. Hello, but the commitment of Yahweh, the word of Yahweh, the instruction Yahweh give it to you. Are you doing it? No. Because we've been deceived. Let me see what my beloved Christopher. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For Abba Yahweh is with you. For wherever you go. If I not command you, Yahushua, be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid. 
or dismayed, intimidated by anybody, for Yahweh, your creator, is with you in anything you are doing. Yahweh said to Joshua in verse 8, the only one way to be succeed, the only one way for you to be prosperous in life, not to go to college, not to go to university, but to meditate in his word day and night. That's wisdom. What wisdom can do for you by going to school, destroy you what knowledge can do to you. How many of you who went to the university today who prosper or who succeed? How many of you? Most of you are suffering. Struggle day by day living. By the time you get a loan to pay, it's a business. It's a way to destroy you. Let me see my beloved Shina. I with my beloved Shina already. My beloved Nikki. Even I command you to be strong and be courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Or dismay. For Yahweh, your creator, is with you. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I'm going to be with you. That's wisdom. That's understanding. That insight. That spirit of discernment. Yahweh will be with you. It's a promise. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Baptist. If not, I command you to be strong and of good courage. Be not be afraid of men, neither dismay any man. For Yahweh, I am Yahweh. I promise you, I'll be with you wherever you go, whatever you do. If you observe, obey, and follow all my instructions, my servant Moshe command you. That's only one way for you to succeed in your life. That's only one way. For you to become prosperous, whatever you touch in your life, you're going to be blessed. Is to obey my words, obey my commandments. Today, you found there is millions of people. They end up themselves to school. Now, they are in Walmart working for the minimum wage. Because they're out of gas. Because they say there's only one way for you to be prosperous. For you to be succeed is to go to school to be somebody. Just that like Yahweh create you a good for nothing. So the school gonna make you somebody. When a school destroy you, a school don't do good to you. They make a business of you. They destroy you. Yahweh give you wisdom, setting the wisdom away from you. They feed you with knowledge. There is no university. What university when Yahshua was on the earth is go? About King Dawid. How many prophets who have any college degree and universities? Which university they go? The who are her goddess. That's what they get. They don't have a diploma. I've been victimized too because that's what my parents would believe and to go to school to be somebody. I text my mother. But guess what? I make a big mistake in my life. I make a big mistake in my life. If I know what I know today, I would never be made that mistake. I was paralyzed. I was in pain. I was suffering. When I heard my son refuse to go to school because I buy him a car, he was 17 years old. I make a mistake. Now he don't want to go to school. School, he just gone. I go to the school. I was paralyzed. I just make a surgery. I went to school. They said, I'm begging those people. I see only one son, I want him to finish school because I was stupid too. I do not know. I want him to be somebody. I have only one son. I beg in them. I call everywhere. They say he's 17, there's nothing they can do. I say, Willie, about Cuba. Cuba, we call it a communist country. But if you don't go to school one day, next day they go to your door. I call the superintendent, I call everybody that said they cannot do nothing. I was in pain, I was suffering, I just doing the surgery. I was stupid and dumb because I would not know that's a tradition. 
They told me only one thing. If you can come and sit down and wait for him on the class, but with the security, nobody can do nothing. He was in high school. And I make a mistake, I buy him a car. That was my mistake. My brother told me, no. I said, I have only one son, so I have the money. Why not give me a car? I was very self-arrogant. So I pay for my mistakes. I'm not afraid to say when I make a mistake. So I think I buy our way today. If I was know what I know, I would never waste my time to go to begging people, please try to hold him school for me because I was suffering. My beloved, now let's go to the first Corinthians, twist up to verse 19. First Corinthians, twist up to verse 19. To see what knowledge can do to you and what wisdom can do for you wisdom versus knowledge satan's word versus yahweh words that's why we go through today that's why you see the world is in chaos that's why you see six thousand years men has been taking control of the earth but they can do nothing the simple thing, poverty, they cannot resolve that. 6,000 years. Because knowledge from sick, from men. A pastor has to go to theology school to become a pastor. I don't go to school. I don't have no diploma. I go to Yahweh University, not theology, not man-made school. But Yahweh is a departed spirit, the Huah Alkadis. I don't go to a school. But anyone who has a diploma, pastors, ministers who got a PhD, come on. I wait for you. Challenge me if you can. Thank you, my beloved Olex. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness. It's not wisdom. And Yahweh sign. And it is written. Yahweh catches the wise. And the craftiness that's the wrong interpretation for the wisdom of this world this world has no wisdom remember for yahweh granted wisdom from yahweh ma would come from wisdom and understanding let me see what my beloved Shina has to say for the knowledge of this world is foolishness wrong yes for the knowledge of this world wait hallelujah for the knowledge of this world is foolishness. Yes, my beloved sinner. It's stupidity. Yes, hallelujah. Before Yahweh. For it is written, Yahweh is the one who cuts them by the craftiness. Remember, Satan, the serpent, was the more crafty. And any beasts and any animals are by Yahweh as they were made or created. Let me see my beloved naked. For the knowledge of this world, yes, the knowledge, the school, the knowledge, the school we go for is foolishness. With Yahweh, it is written, Yahweh take the fools and the uncraftedness. Hallelujah. Thank you, my beloved Olex. My beloved Olex. For the knowledge of this world, yes, the knowledge. When you go to school, it's a foolishness. And Yahweh sight, as it is written, Yahweh cuts the, 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 the knowledgeable, the intelligence, and the cutness. Let me see what my beloved Christopher. My beloved Christopher, you get to make a change. It's not wisdom. We're talking about wisdom versus knowledge. We're talking about from the mouth of Yahweh can wisdom. So Satan cannot also give wisdom. Correction, please, my beloved Christopher. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. From the knowledge, for the knowledge of this world, when you go to school, from the knowledge of this world is foolishness to Yahweh. For it is written, Yahweh take the, not the wise, Yahweh take the knowledgeable or the intelligence and the own craftiness. Let me see my beloved Zach and churches. They are spiritual mentally, whip off the wise sense, 
most of them using drugs to get by the by day. Yes, 100%, I agree with that. My beloved Christopher, let me see the corrections. For the knowledge, for the knowledge of this world is foolishness. Yes. Because Satan is the one who gives knowledge. Remember, I buy our told the men not to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Satan say it's okay. Because Satan was going to make a God. Somebody to worship you. And you're going to hear why. My beloved Joe, for the knowledge of this world is foolishness in the sight of Yahweh. Yahweh casts the intelligence of the craftiness. Because Satan will do more crafty than any beast of any animal. He said to the woman, did Yahweh what it said? Now, when we go to school, our buyer will create us with a wisdom, with a gift. But when you go to school, they took that wisdom away from you and they give you knowledge to destroy you. And they make you pay for it. What Yahweh give it to you, it was free. But we don't satisfy with them. Because our parents would believe in education. But education, you cannot buy that from school. You can buy instruction from school. Maybe. But all those things must be found on the scripture. This scripture gives you education, wisdom, understanding, insight, and the spirit of discernment. School, they take all those things from you and they feed you with knowledge, lies, and deceptions. And they hope for you to be somebody when they destroy you. You study day and night to be a doctor. You explain all your life to be a doctor. You go into school, you finish getting a diploma. According to the school, you are a university graduate from school. But guess what? You get something to do. If you don't pass the board test, you can never practice a doctor. Or if you are a pharmacy, or if you are a nurse, whatever you are, a lawyer, you have to be certified by the state in order to, to recognize you as a doctor, as a nurse, as a pharmacy, as a lawyer, as anything, you must be have that. If not, what happened to you? You're going to work on Publix, on Wendy Dixie, and McDonald's. Long time, McDonald's was for the student. Now McDonald's for everybody. Why? Because the people are the guests. They make a promise to you. It's about business. They can give you $30,000, $50,000 loan to go to school. But they will not lend you $5,000 to open up a small business. So knowledge destroy you. Because what Yahweh creates you with is wisdom. It's to study his word. To meditate in his word. Yahweh doesn't create university. People the ancient time do not know how to read. But they do all kinds of things. You never see the world was in chaos today because knowledge destroyed this world. Yahweh created the earth beautiful. But because of the weapon of mass disruptions, because of chemical weapons, because of evil of these wicked people, they destroyed the world and said to be taking care of the earth, Yahweh, to send the men to watch over it. That's why now they are scared about global warming, because they know what they're doing to the earth. That's why now global warming is about business. It's about deception. It's about lies to make you fear. Just like the corona, COVID-19. Trump said he do not believe on coronavirus. It's just a fake flag. Trump said that it's unsafe. Because you have to remember, Trump is not a politician. He's an outsider. He speaks his mind. But like people don't like him. They think it's crazy. It's not crazy. He don't wear a mask. Why Trump never want to wear a mask? Because he don't believe in COVID-19. 
He believes that it's fake. He believes about money. It's about Bill Gates. It's about to enforce the mark of the beast. That's knowledge. Police and we're not going to take the vaccination. My beloved, it could never be existed. But the earth was pretty good. Very good. You see the children of Israel when they were enslaved. Over 430 years ago, in the birth of Mishraim. Even today, they build some wi wisdom things, wonders. Even today, with all the technology, with all the architects, with all the scientists, with everything they ask, they say, how come they do it? How that happen? They don't go to school. But Yahweh gives them the ability to do everything. That's the wisdom. That's the insight. That's the discipline. You don't need to be to school to be somebody. Yahweh already created you to be somebody. Let's say the book of Jeremiah, first chapter, verse 5. The book of Jeremiah, first chapter, verse 5. The book of Jeremiah, first chapter, verse 5, please. The book of Jeremiah, first chapter, verse 5. The book of Jeremiah, first chapter, verse 5. The book of Jeremiah 5, chapter verse 5, please. The book of Jeremiah. First chapter verse 5, please. The book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah. Thank you, my beloved sinner. Before I form you, Jeremiah, and the worms, I knew you and approve of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I know you. I appointed you to be a prophet to the nation. So that this school will make Jeremiah a prophet? That's university? What university Jeremiah went? What college? Let me see my beloved colleagues. Before I form you in the world, I know you. Before you were born, I set you apart, Jeremiah, and I appointed you to be a prophet. I ordain you to be a prophet to the nation. Hello. So Abai will create you good for nothing? So do that in this true gonna make you somebody, right? No. Before Abai will even put you in your mother womb, he already gives you a gift. So when you go to school, they took that gift away from you. Because what you are created to be, they want to make you somebody else. That's why they say, I'm gonna make you school to be somebody. When they destroy you without knowing they destroy you. My beloved Nikki. Before Yahweh formed you in the warm Jeremiah. He knew you. And before you came forth out of the wombs of your mother. I sanctify you. And ordain you to be a prophet to the nation. So what university Jeremiah went? Who ordained Jeremiah? Men, the theologians, Satan, or Yahweh. My friends, let me tell you something. Before Abel even puts everything on you under the earth, it's already give you a gift, a talent. It's not a school gonna give you a talent. Yahweh will give you that gift. Ancient people was a doctor without going to the university. They know all the medicine. All the leaf are good for everything. They never would go to school. That was a gift. They heal people. Without going to see a doctor. That was a gift. They know all the medication. All the leaf are good for everything. There is no secessions. 
Most people will make children in their home. There's no hospital because there's no doctors. There's no medication. There's a leaf. I better request the leaf for medication. Now with the drug experience. Let me see my beloved Nikki. Before Yahweh will form you in the wombs, I know you. He knew you. And before Yahweh came, before you come out of the raw womb of your mother, I will sanctify you and ordain you to be a prophet. So Yahweh creates you somebody. But with the sense we are nobody in order to be somebody, we get to go to school. That's why what the knowledge can do to you and what wisdom can do for you. Ask Yahweh what he can do for you. Don't ask Yahweh what you can do for Yahweh. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom Baptist. Before I formed you, Jeremiah, in the belly, I knew you before I put you, before I put you in the belly, before I formed you, I knew you. And before you came forth out of the wombs, I sanctify you. And I ordain you alone. So I'm going to send my children to school to be somebody. What a lies. What a deception. You slap Yahweh in its face. I'm going to send my children to school to be somebody. When Yahweh says, Jeremiah, before I put you in your mother's womb, I know you. I already sanctify you. I ordain you. And now we have to send our children to school. It's up to teach them about the word of Yahweh. A school is about business. It's about men made. It's not coming from Yahweh. It's coming from Satan. Whatever they teach you, they destroy you. Let's see the book of First Corinthians, three chapter verse nine, verse eighteen, please. First Corinthians, three chapter verse eighteen, please. I know that's going to be take long. It's going to take a lot of times. To go to that knowledge versus wisdom what knowledge can do to you and what wisdom can do for you that's going to take a lot of sessions a lot of times to consume to understand from a to z not to jump from a and escape b no you got to do a b c d to understand you're going to be the teacher you're going to be, be have a big responsibilities to teach the 144,000. Make sure you take a note what Yahweh teach you. You're going to be the rulership, the sonship, the kingship with Yahshua Amashiach. Not me. You're going to be the 144,000. Not me. You're going to be responsible for the other lives. Make sure you know the scripture. Make sure you know what you're doing. Today is a day time. But there's a night time when we are not able to communicate the way we are. Make sure, don't waste it. Behold, I Yahweh form you and the wombs. I knew you before you were born, Yahweh, and set you apart. Thank you. My beloved Sina, thank you. Let no one deceive himself. Let no one deceive himself. If everyone or anyone among you Think that he is knowledgeable and this is let him become a fool. Hmm. So that he may become wise. In order for you to become wise, you must be a fool. Because Yahweh, for the knowledge of this world, it's nothing but foolishness. Just like me. Everybody think I'm, I'm a fool now. Because Yahweh give me his wisdom. So he take away the, the knowledge men was give it to me. You hear me? That's why I become a fool in order to be wise in Yahshua Amashiach. Yes. So let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you seem to be wise in this world, he must become a fool that he may be wise in Yahshua HaMashiach. Let no one deceive you. Because Satan, do not deceive yourselves. Yes, we deceive ourselves. 
Is any one of you think you are smart? Hello. That's what they say. Oh, Joe is very smart. Mom, Joe, your son is very smart. It's very intelligent. But they never said you were wise. The words what become wisdom. They say you are smart. That's a man made. They give you glory, make you a god. Oh, your son is very intelligent. Your son is very knowledgeable. But why is the word wisdom? Why is the word wise? They never said that to you when you are in school. They say, oh, she's not very intelligent. She's very smart. She's very knowledgeable. Because that's came from men. Let's say my beloved Shabbat Shalom. Let no man deceive himself. We deceive ourselves. We are deceive ourselves when we think we are somebody because we go to school when we are nothing. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, he must become a fool that he may become wise. Because now I become a fool in order to become a wise. All the knowledge Yahweh was given to me. The school was given to me. The system was given to me. It took everything away. And now it gave me the wisdom. Understanding. Because for Yahweh God wisdom. From Yahweh mouth come wisdom and understanding. For Satan. The word of Satan give knowledge is a destruction. That's that it destroy the life of Eve. And Adam on the garden. And 6,000 years. We see pay the price. And the consequence. Of the disobedience of Adam. Because by listening to Satan. By eating on the tree of knowledge. By saying. For Yahweh knows. And the day you eat from the tree of knowledge. The good and the evil. You know when die. Your eyes will be open. And you will be as God. Now when you see a doctor. I was taking my doctor as a guard with seven back surgery, 51 pills a day. I take the doctor as a guard. When I go, I say, Doc, I get more pain, more surgery, more pills. Doc, Doc. I was take my doctor as a guard. Now he said, Do you know why I let you suffer? Because you forget about me. You take a man as a guard. Every time you call Doc, Doc, you never call me. You should be calling me. 51 pills a day. Don't do nothing for me. I drink. I drink every day. Don't do nothing for me. I take quality on short and morphine short. Don't do nothing for me. I smoke four pocket cigarettes a day. Don't do nothing for me. The more I put things in my mind. You know, take 51 pills. Don't do nothing for you. You feel more pain. You even drink every alcohol, every liquor, and you feel the pain more bad. Whatever I try to do, it was I was hurting myself. When I take quarters on shot and morphine shot, pay four thousand dollars in my pocket. Guess what? I spent three or four days in the bed. I can't even turn my body. That's how painful it was. When I tried to help myself. When I will beat you up. You know how to beat you. I went for seven years. I don't want every one of you to go what I go through in order to learn to be obedient to Yahweh. Because I was rebel against Yahweh because I was taken, I was a king. I was thinking I can do whatever I want to be. I was thinking I was the potter, I was the clay. Because they said, this is your life. I was thinking this is my life. I would say, uh, 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 uh. this is my time now. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom. I see my beloved Joe. Do not deceive yourself. If any man of you think you are smart by the standard of this age, you should become fools to be wise. Because when you go to school, you think you are smart. That's what they said to you. You are very smart. You are very intelligent. You are very knowledgeable. But wisdom came from Yahweh. Understanding came from Yahweh. Insight came from Yahweh. 
but they give us a trade. Satan know what Yahweh give it to you, but he have to take the wisdom, the understanding, Yahweh give it to you, the word of Yahweh, they take it away from you and they feed you with trash. That's the reason why in the United States of America, they remove prayer, they remove the commitment of Abba Yahweh to feed you with trash, men with men, women with women, bisexual, transgender, and everything. Safe sex, give you a condom. One nation under God, one nation under Satan, the United States of America, who now who earn the judgment upon Yahweh. Any country who turn their back, anyone who turn their back against Yahweh, that means you're in trouble. America, you are in trouble. Those who are living in America, you are in big trouble. Be ready. Because there's going to be blood share. Yahweh don't play. You slap Yahweh, you turn your back from Yahweh, you remove the commitment of Yahweh, you remove prayer, and you replace it by sex, by homosexual, by sexual immorality, by fornication, by murder, by defile our bare words, and you think Yahweh going to just stand up in America? Those who are even in America, you already be ready. Be ready, because Yahweh going to be struck. Be ready. Yahweh going to be struck. Yahweh don't please. One nation under God. One nation under Satan. If you was under Yahweh, people going to know how to pray. They will obey the Sabbath day. They will obey the commandment of Yahweh. When they say one nation under God, it's one nation under Satan authority. USA. You know what USA means? Under Satan authority. Not under Yahweh authority. Now let's take the book of 1 Corinthians. 3 chapter verse 2. We're going to close pretty soon. The book of 1 Corinthians. 3 chapter verse 20. The book of 1 Corinthians. 3 chapter verse 20 please. The book of 1 Corinthians, 3 chapter verse 20. 1 Corinthians, 3 chapter verse 20. Nobody go on to this when you disrespect Yahweh. Especially those philosophers, those theologians, those pastors, those elders who take and they can bless two men and two women. When Yahweh say it's an abomination. Just think about that. What knowledge can do to you. And what wisdom can do for you knowledge destroy you that's why now everybody thinking it's okay for two men and two women to having sex to be together it's okay for bisexual it's okay for transgender it's okay to change your sex when i bear we create you to be a male i don't care how much you spend you're gonna die as a man whatever you do it's whatever you're gonna pay for it it means whip whatever it is all. Thank you, my beloved. And again, Yahweh knows the thought of the knowledgeable that they are useless. And again, Yahweh knows the thought you you so you, you make a, a mistake, my beloved Shina. You make again Yahweh Lord. You make Yahweh Lord. Remove the, the Lord. Thank you. And again, Yahweh knows the thoughts of the knowledgeable that they are useless. Yahweh knows the thought of Satan. They are useless. They are worthless. Thank you, my beloved Nikki. And again, Yahweh knows the thought of the knowledgeable are vain. The thought of Satan is vain. The thought of Satan is dead. The dead, the thought of Satan, the knowledge of Satan is dead. Let me see my beloved Nikki. Again, Yahweh knows the thoughts of the knowledgeable are vain. Those who are doctors, lawyers, architects, whatever they think they are, Yahweh say, your thoughts are useless. Let me see my beloved Shabbat Shalom. And again, our Bayahwe knows the thought of the, not the wise, the thought of the knowledgeables, the thought of the knowledgeable, of the intelligent, of the smart, that they are vain. The wise came from Yahweh, not Satan. For Yahweh knows the thought of the smart people they are in vain. Today is what we see. 
There is so many deceptions going on. Now again, now we know the reasoning, the reasoning, if you don't want to say knowledge, you see the reasoning of the knowledgeable that they are useless. The scripture also say, Yahweh knows that the plan made by the intelligence people are worthless. The scriptures also says, Yahweh knows that the plan made by the intelligence people are worthless. Those who are in university, they think they are very smart. They are very intelligent. They are very knowledgeable. But Yahweh said to you, your, with your intellectuals are nothing but worthless. Let me see my bit of Shabbat show again. Yahweh knows the thought of the knowledgeable that they are vain. Hallelujah. When you go to school, what they feed you with knowledge? Make you against your creator. Lie to you. They don't tell you nothing, true. They don't teach you the scripture. They don't teach you about the Torah. It's not by going to school to be somebody. Yahweh create you. When he creates you, he gives you instructions. He tells Joshua the only way to be succeed in life, the only way to be very prosperous in life, is to read my commitments. It's to meditate and then day and night. That's the only way for you to be succeed, not to go to university. Not to go to college, wasting your time. How many people you know who's billionaire who go to school university? Was was people was billionaire? So he never go to school. He go to university. Trump, he just pay people, but he never go, go to school. He know nothing. Bill Gates, you go to school, work in Philly. Do, do they have university degrees? Where their money coming from? From stealing from you? From lying to you? Let me take the book of Job 5 chapter verse 13. We're going to close pretty soon. The book of Job 5 chapter verse 13. The book of Job 5 chapter verse 13, please. The book of Job 5 chapter verse 13. The book of Job 5 chapter verse 13, please. The book of Job 5 chapter verse 13, please. There's a lot of work to be done. So we're going to close pretty soon. The book of Jude, 5, chapter verse 13. The book of Jude, 5, chapter verse 13. After that, we get the one more verse, of two more verse to close. Job, 5, chapter verse 13, please. Job 5 chapter verse 13. Job 5 chapter verse 13, please. The book of Job 5 chapter verse 13. The book of Job 5 chapter verse 13. The book of Job. Five chapter verse 13, please. The book of Job. Five chapter verse 13, please. Question from Shabbat Shalom. Again, Yahweh knows the thought of the knowledgeable that they are vain. Thank you, my beloved Joe. Yahweh catches the knowledgeable and the craftiness and the schemes of the willing. I swept away. Hallelujah. Thank you, my beloved Joe. Yahweh cast the knowledgeable on the craftiness and the schemes of the willing and swept away. My beloved Shina, Yahweh catches. Wow, everyone do it together. My beloved Nikki, Yahweh catches the knowledgeable and the uncaughtiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. My beloved Olet, 
Yahweh catches the knowledgeable of the cuttings and the scheme of why it swept away. My beloved Christopher, Yahweh trap the knowledgeable and the uncleanness. So the cunning schemes are traded. My beloved Sabbath Shalom Baptist, Yahweh takes the knowledgeable and the uncraftiness. Remember, Satan is the more crafty and any beast and any animals Yahweh has ever made and created. Yahweh takes the knowledgeable and the uncraftiness and the counsels of the shields and carry hostility. Yahweh trap the intelligence and the knowledgeable and the uncraftiness so that the plan of deceptives and quickly brought to nothing. Yahweh cross the intelligence, the fools, the knowledgeable of the uncraftiness, and the counsel of the disappointed, the counsel of the wicked. That's the proper translation from Hebrew translation. All of them are good, but not accurate from the proper translation. Yahweh threw up the intelligence and the knowledgeable and the craftiness so that the plan of the deceptives are quickly brought to an end. Yahweh cuts the intelligence, the fools, the knowledgeables, and the own craftiness, and the counsel of the disappointed, the counsel of the wicked. Now, let's go to the book of Jeremiah 8, chapter verse 8. After that, one more verse, we're going to close today. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 8, chapter verse 8. Jeremiah, it's 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 chapter verse 8. After that, one more verse to close. Jeremiah, it's chapter verse 8, please. Jeremiah, it's chapter verse 8. Jeremiah, it's chapter verse 8. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, it's chapter verse 8. Jeremiah, it's chapter verse 8. I know there's going to be a trick and that verse right there. Let me see how many people are going to find it right. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, it's chapter verse 8. There is a trick in this. Let me see how many one going to find it. My beloved Shina, thank you. How can you say we are not legible? Because we know the word of Yahweh. When your teacher have twisted the truth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How can we say we are wise for we have the law of Yahweh. Thank you my beloved Olegs. That's what says not good. How can we say we are wise for we have the law of Yahweh? Let me see my beloved Christopher. How can we say we are wise because we have the commandments of Yahweh? When your teacher have twisted it by writings the undeceptives word. How can you say those pastors, they think they are wise. Those professors, those philosophers, those doctors, 
those lawyers, those nurses, they think they are wise. When they have, they don't have the commitment of Yahweh. When your teacher have twisted the commitment of Yahweh by reading their own deceptive words, how can you can be wise? You can be knowledgeable, you cannot be wise. You cannot be wise. You can be every knowledge because you don't have the commitment of Yahweh. When your teacher have twisted the commitment of Yahweh, how can you can be wise? They remove the commitment of Yahweh on the face of the earth. How can you can be wise? How can you can be have any understanding? Let me see my beloved Joe. I can't you say you are wise? For we have the commitment of our by Yahweh. When actually the lying pen of the scribes I produce it a deception. I can we can wise when we still have the lying pen of the scribes, the one who trusted the scripture the way they want it, twisted the scripture, twisted the word of Yahweh. How can we can wise? When the pen of the scribes had produced a deceptive, a deception, deceptive words. Let me see my experience about Shabbat Shalom Baptist. How do we say we are knowledgeable and the commitment of Yahweh is with us? Lo, certainly and then made a hate because the pen, the scribe, as produce a deception. They twisted the word of Yahweh. Instead of for them to teach you the word of Yahweh, the commitment of Yahweh, the instruction of Yahweh, what you should be received from the wisdom, but they remove the wisdom from your mind. They remove the scripture. They remove everything Yahweh has given to you. And they replace it by men teaching, by men taught, by the ideology of Satan, one plus one ego two. You don't have to go to school to know one plus one ego two. There's a lot of people I know they do not know how to read. But the wise, because Yahweh give them the wisdom, the understanding. Not from school, but from Yahweh. From the mouth of Yahweh, Yahweh got wisdom. From the mouth of Yahweh come wisdom and understanding. Now, the book of Proverbs 3, chapter verse 32. We're going to close it down tonight. The book of Proverbs 3, chapter verse 32, please. The book of Proverbs 3, chapter verse 32. The book of Proverbs 3, chapter verse 32. My beloved Nikki, how do you say we are wise and the commandment of Yahweh is with the wind of the scribes? As written, firstly, yes. Okay, we can say wise. When you have the pen of the scribes writing firstly the word of Yahweh to you, how can we can wise? We cannot be wise. We think and we are wise. But Satan, men, I take it of the wisdom Yahweh give it to you to replace it by intelligence, by smart, by knowledge of Satan, the same deceptions on the Garden of Eden until today. The book of Proverbs. We shop the verse 32. Let's go to that place. The book of Proverbs, twist up the verse 32, please. The book of Proverbs, twist up the verse 32. The book of Proverbs, twist up the verse 32. Abba Yahweh, I thank you so much for everything you've been done to us. I thank you, Abba Yahweh, for everything. Thank you for your people. Thank you for your words. Abba Yahweh, I cannot thank you so much for the wisdom, for the understandings, and for all those who do give it to your people, the children of Israel. I'm asking you to bless all those. Give them the gift they're taking away from them. Give them the wisdom, the understanding, the insight, and the discernment of your spirit. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you to bless every one of them. To heal them. Such wicked people are detestable to our by Yahweh or other Yahweh orders 
his friendship and forever Yah will offer his friendship to the secret of this righteousness. May Abba Yahweh bless all of you. May Abba Yahweh keep his face shy upon you, be gracious to you. May Abba Yahweh bless you. We're going to push you that other session, another day time. May Abba Yahweh be with you. May Abba Yahweh bless you. May Abba Yahweh keep his face upon you. Abba Yahweh be blessed. Be, keep your children safe. Comfort them, bless them. Whoever who give in your ministry, I'm asking you, Abba Yahweh, please, to support them. I'm asking you, Abba Yahweh, please, to provide for them, to keep them safe, to give them more wisdom, to teach them more about you, to teach them your character and everything in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. My beloved, I love you. The time is now to we have to close. May Abba Yahweh be with you. May Abba Yahweh be with you in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. I am Messenger Daniel. Until next time, say Shabbat Albaron, Shabbat Shalom, Lalatov, Shavuatov, me Abba Yahweh. Peace and Shalom be with you. So let's close it with that song. And Abba Yahweh be with you. I see you at 12 o'clock tonight. Get them. It's a very, very long session. I love all of you. Take care. the next session gonna be Hallelujah. I see you later at 12 let's say you are there Hallelujah. I see you love all of you the Abel will be with you Hallelujah. love all of you we are by our peace and blessing with all of you. Praise Yahweh. I see you at 12. I see you later. If it is by the way, all of our by our way. Have a good night. I like to. Safu Ado. May Abba Yahweh bless you and keep his face shy upon you and be gracious to you. May Abba Yahweh bless every one of you. I love you also. I love all of you. Bless is he come in the name of Yahweh. Baruch Abba I love all of you. I see your little. Of Yahweh. 17, the Queen of Heaven. What is the meaning of the Queen of Heaven tomorrow at 12? So we want to be a queen today. 12 o'clock. What is the meaning of a queen of heaven? What everybody want to be a queen to do, what every woman wants to be a queen. The queen is a scripture. What is the meaning of a queen? At 12 o'clock, be ready breaking your empty dishes with you. And I will feel it of you. I love all of you by the grace and mercy of Yahweh. I see you later. Light off. Every blessed evening. 